Greetings viewers, we are finally back with Path of Radiance. Oh my goodness, it has been such a long time. Uh, I have looked at this like screenshot so many times like I want to come back and play this game again. But you know what, I just never had the time, or at least I was doing a different game. And then I was like not feeling uh, fire, but now I'm in such a huge fire mood and I'm so glad to get back to this game. I rewatched all my episodes so I know what's going on. It might be a little bit rusty at the very start, but you know what? I think, I think we'll be pretty good and I'm so excited to continue. So let's not waste any more time because it's already been like seven months since I've uploaded the most previous episode and I'm finally, oh, uh, I can't wait to play this again. Oh yeah, one last thing. I also did a little bit more research um, into the combat the world building, and I also realized I got some names wrong. I kept calling him Randolph, and I just realized there's no D. Um, it's literally just Randolph, and um, apparently I was pronouncing King Canaeus as King Canaeus, but according to Fire Heroes, it's actually uh, Kenegus. I am Kenegus, King of Gallia and the Beast Tribe. So I'll be pronouncing it like that from now on, and feel free to call me out on any mispronunciations of names in the future, but here we go. Finally, we're back. Well, we're here. Welcome to Toha, Crimea's westernmost port city. Uh, what's with this place? The people are going about their business. Why aren't they worried about Dayan? About the war? Uh, it's because this area is fairly, uh, it's fairly isolated. Dayan's army hasn't come this far, and so life goes on as before. Dayan's plan is to seize the capital, then slowly and steadily expand its sphere of influence until it controls everything. Surely these people have some idea of what's happening. Uh, ignorance is a form of bliss, is it not? These people don't know what it's like to lose a war. They don't want to know. Okay, sorry. I I'm trying to, like, also give a little bit more life to the voices as well, so... Forgive me if they're not exactly spot on to what they were before. It's been seven months, so... Uh, Crimea as, as a nation has always been blessed by peace. Perhaps this is uh, due to the temperament of, a of its rulers, but the country hasn't seen serious warfare for centuries. While minor skirmishes within the Kingdom of Dan have been, uh, have been legion, only the eastern borderlands have taken damage. And yet, I know this is, I, and yet I know this peace will not last. When we met Dayan forces on our scouting mission, they attacked us merely for being within Crimean border. Humans are shameless creatures that uh, cease, uh, ceaselessly ignore any misfortune which does not befall them directly. They can, and often do, turn a blind eye to all manner of wickedness so long as it does not touch them or their kin. You know, Sworn, that's actually a pretty good point. They will bow their heads, condemning those victims for bringing calamity upon themselves. And then they cast their eyes toward the heaven in thanks of uh, while their neighbors lay dying around them. But the war is happening here. This is their home, not someone else's. When the Dayan army darkens their doorsteps, perhaps they will understand. When the peace they take for granted is shattered, and their sons and daughters slaughtered in the streets, perhaps then they will comprehend the misfortunes they so long pretended not to see. I have no sympathy for them. Jeez, <laughs> Ike's literally, uh, you'll get no sympathy from me. All right, guess he just stole his uh, line. My goodness, the nastier the truth, the blunter he gets. Quite a delightful staff officer you have there. <laughs> uh, he um has an undeniable streak of severity in him, but this? Uh, but, but this? Something's bothering him, that's for sure. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if it's just his, something to do with his past, maybe? I don't know. Uh, it's to be expected. Even I'm a bit shocked by this place. Can they truly be as placid as they appear? Soren's a very uh, empathetic young man. The emotions of this place may have proven to be too much for him. Ignoring impending doom because you cannot prevent it. Uh, fatalism is by nature a disheartening beast. Well, for all those born with nothing, there are those born with everything. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's how society works. Uh, but those who never notice the difference are the ones we should envy. I mean, I guess ignorance is bliss, just like Soren was saying. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Oh, I was just talking to myself. Pay me no mind. Hmm. Now then, I've got to see a man about a ship. While I'm gone, why don't you get your supplies squared away? I'm sure that the journey ahead will require a lot of packing. Uh, Ranulf, I'll go with you. No, no, that's all right. You should supervise us, uh, the supply acquisition. You're going to be at sea for months, you know? Oh, boy. That means boat chapters. <laughs> I know that, but... What is it, Titania? She's worried about me. She doesn't want to leave a solitary Lagoos wandering around a Bayork city. But I thought Crimea and Gallia were allied nations. Why would a wandering Lagoos uh, be a cause for concern? Well, it shouldn't be, but... Do you remember uh, what King... Kenegus? <laughs> Sorry, I've got my notes here. Kenegus told you? The friendship between Crimea and Gallia exists only between the ruling classes. It hasn't taken root in the minds of the common citizen, uh, citizenry at all. 
That being said, things have improved quite a bit since King Aramon ascended the, to the throne. The reports of hunts and others, uh, another horror have all but disappeared. Oh, don't worry. I'll be fine. I've got connections, see? It's not like I'll be roaming the docks begging for passage. Alright then, the job is yours. Please be careful. You too. Don't mess anything up. Okay, so it looks like the plan to get the boat is coming along nicely. Ike, here's a summary of our last battle. Okay, we got three new units. MVP was Mordecai. Yes, I remember he was. Okay, that's pretty decent. Bonus EXP. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, there were no casualties, and no one suffered permanent injury. We fought excellently. That's not, uh, that's all I have to report. If you'll excuse me. All right, Soren, I wonder if you're doing okay. Um, let's see, can we get any new support conversations? Doesn't look like it. Um, well, I guess we have Ike and Tanya, but once again, I'm trying to keep Ike and Soren getting to A. Um, I actually, like, before I did that, I was like, did I just, like, randomly do a bunch of, um, support conversations and forget about that I wanted to get Soren to A? But no, because you had, like, that, there's that fine limit, which I didn't know was in this game, but it's, like, also in GBA games as well. So, um, how about we talk to the merchant real fast, some default merchant. Uh, you there, traveler. Do you have everything you need? If you stop by my humble shop, you'll find the best deals in town. What do you say? Interested? Yeah, that sounds great. Listen, can I ask you a question? Uh, no problem. You can ask me anything, especially if it's about my low, low prices. Uh, what do the townspeople think of Dayan? You know that they are coming. Or you know that they were coming. Didn't anyone think to flee Crimea? Flee? Don't be absurd. But Crimea lost the war. Yeah, I know. And honestly, that doesn't really affect us common folk, you know? I mean, it will. The truth is, we don't care who sits on the throne. To us, they're all just faceless beings who rule on from on high. If they tried to raise taxes or something, you'd better believe we'd protest. But otherwise, I mean, take the uh, take the uh, the king of Dayan. He's just another man, right? If we keep working, he can keep living the high life. So it's not like he's gonna treat us our poorly or anything. Well, I don't know. Frickin', what's his name? Ashnard? He seems like a bad person. As long as we can live our lives and have a little happiness, we aren't going to worry all about it all too much. I mean, I guess I can kind of get behind that. Like, you don't need to worry about Royal's business and who leads your country as long as you, your friends, and your family are doing fine. Oh, but if we were invaded by Gallia, well, that's a different story altogether. What, is it because they're beasts? Is that what it is? If our country was overrun by those savage beasts, who, kn uh, who knows what could happen? Now that scares me. Hmm. What the- Hey, wait, come back! What about my low, low prices? Now, what was that all about? Alright, shut up, merchant. Man, why is he three star for a man? Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> pardon me, buddy. I haven't seen you around town before. You a traveling mercenary? Yes, I suppose you could say that. Nice sword. You look like a man who knows his business. If you're looking for work, I've got a proposition for you. A proposition? I run a vigilante group that helps uh, keep a fair town safe. Uh, a strong man like you would be most welcome. Thanks, but I've got something lined up. Yeah, <laughs> you know, protecting the princess of Crimea? Oh really, that's too bad. Heading out to sea? Maybe. Ha <laughs> ha, cautious till the end, I like that. Well, just in case you are, I want you to have this. Hmm? What's this? It's a special sword. Oh? It'll come in handy if you ever find yourself at sea. Not that you would. <laughs> uh, really? You're giving me a sword? Are you sure? Let's see. What would this... If it helps out at sea? A sword that helps out at sea? Probably one that would... I'm thinking like like a Lance Reaver maybe because Pegasus Knights will uh, uh, ambush us from far away. Um, or like Wyvern Riders maybe? Uh, well, there's one condition. Once you finish your job, you come back and see me. I'd like, to, I'd like you to reconsider that vigilante position. Understood. Thanks again for the blade. Lagoose Slayer? So it's a Beast Slayer, basically. Um, okay. Alincia, how are you doing? Uh, how <laughs> thanks for the 20,000 gold coins? Princess. Uh, my Lord Ike. Why, uh, why are you here all by yourself? That's not very safe. I was looking at the town. I'm unfamiliar with the world outside the Imperial Villa where I was raised. This is the first time I've been able to see how other people live. Everything is so new and different to my eyes. This is a town, isn't it? There's so much energy, and everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. Uh, with all the boats coming in and out of the harbor, this town's livelier than most, that's for sure. It's like nothing has happened. All the death and destruction we've seen uh, feels like a horrible dream. Hmm. That That's it? Okay, I mean... I guess that's fair. Kieran? Um, oh, that's Guy. Yeah, I remember. He was. He, we just saw him in the last chapter. Huh? Yeah? Hey, yeah! 
What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to regain my superb physique I lost when I was being held prisoner. Are you ready to board the ship? We already got the ship? Okay. I was born ready. <laughs> I don't need anything. Even as we speak, many of my fellow Crimeans are suffering at the hands of Dayan. If I cannot rush to their aid today, then I can at least prepare myself for the day when I can. I see. Well, when we're ready, I'll let you know. Understood? Sorry to have interrupted you. My Lord Ike. What is it? You rescued and cared for Princess Alincia. You have my heartfelt thanks. She, for us, she is our one, uh, she's our one solitary hope. Yeah. Right. Enough talking. Until we make our triumphant return to Melior, all I can do is keep training. Ha! <laughs> Careful. Don't pull anything. <laughs> Jeez. I love, these characters are so interesting. Brom, what was this? This is the night guy. Yeah. Bootleg Gatry. <laughs> what are you looking at? No, oh, just this. It's a sort of good luck charm. My family gave it to me when I left home. Isn't he like a country guy? I think he was. We never had much money, so my parents, uh, so my parents gathered some stones from our farm back, uh, from our farm back home and put them in this leather pouch. It's not much to look at, but it means a lot to me. Every day I take them out and take, uh, and talk to them like they're my family. How is everyone? I'm out here doing the best I can. Don't worry, I'll be home soon. Just stuff like that. I mean, hey, whatever keeps you going, Brom. Broom. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's gonna sweep the competition. I know it sounds foolish, but if I don't do this, I won't. I won't have the courage to fight. Uh, don't worry about my feelings. You can laugh, acting like uh, like acting like this at my age. What a silly man I am. Uh, it's not silly, Brom. You're a strong man who has uh, has dedicated to fight for the sake of his family. I know that your family is very proud of you. <laughs> thank you, Ike. Thank, thank you. Okay. Nephany? Or was Nephany? I know she's the country one, but I don't know if Brom was as well. Um, well, that's that. Are you ready to go, Nephany? Ah, Ike. What is it? Um, nope, nothing. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, sure I'm sure. You know, it's hard being a prisoner. It's physically and mentally demanding. I need to know. Can you fight? Not a problem. It's easier for you to say, but you sound like you're about to fall over. That? Oh no, that's a habit. It's just the way I talk. Just talking. Sorry. No need to apologize. As long as you're not feeling ill, everything's fine. Alright, I'll see you later. Right then. Okay, I mean, sure, as long as she's not dying, I guess. Outfit? Alright, I, I, I'm, let me see. Let me just see. Oh, people don't even have... Oh, you guys don't even have weapons? Okay. Um... Let me get suited up for the inevitable battle that is coming up here, and I'll be right back. Oh yeah, so we got this counter scroll, which basically allows um, Ike to pretty much have the skill of counter. So I looked it up. Counter, um, it only yeah while you're at base or at a base. Okay, wait. When you're at a base, what does that mean? Okay, well whatever. Basically, um, counter only triggers uh with your skill. So whoever whatever Ike's skill is, um, I think we can check right here. His skill is 14, so we have a 14% chance to basically do the exact same amount of damage when someone attacks us, which is pretty cool. So I think I'll have Ike hold on to that since his strength is suffering pretty badly. Okay, I think we're all suited up. Not sure who I'm gonna be bringing. I'll probably, I know I have to bring a beast unit and obviously just Ike, so I think I'm ready to go. Oh, okay, hold on. I don't think it's like a hold thing. I think I actually have to assign it. So maybe if I do assign, yeah, put it right there. So I can also remove things. So does that put it out of my inventory though? It does, okay. And I can change who I want to put it on. That's cool. Okay. Um, so Ike doesn't have any skills. I'm going to leave the counter on him for now because I think that's actually really good. Because, um, like, who else would really want counter? Like, Ike is he's fast. He's pretty defensive. So it probably wouldn't help him that much. But it'll help out, like, for some chip damage. Because right now, just Ike is just... He's just lacking. So I think let's go. Let's leave the base and see what we have to do. Port Toha. All right. Looks pretty lively at the moment. Um, Ike and Alincia. What's going on here? We should be leaving, but... Looks like everyone's going to, uh, looks like everyone's going to be a while yet. My lord Ike, are you ready to go? Me? As long as I've got my sword, I'm always ready. Or the three that you have. A sword? That's it? Uh, if I've got my cape, I can sleep just about anywhere. As for food, well, something always turns up. <laughs> that's delightful. It is? Yes, very much so. <laughs> Princesses, I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll ever understand them. Uh, what's going on? What? Why all the excitement? My lord Ike, there's a crowd gathering at the town entrance. That's... What's going on? Uh-oh. 
Attention citizens, we've received reports of Crimean army stragglers hiding in this town. From this point forth, the Dayan army will blockade all points of entry. No one comes or goes without our leave. The harbor is also closed. No ships will be allowed to sail. Oh boy, is this what our chapter is to Tanya? Ike, Dayan troops have... I know, all we can do is move toward the docks and try not to be discovered. Have you seen Ranulf? Not yet. Wait, here he comes now. Ranulf, over here. Oh, <laughs> there he is in his little gown. Ooh, things sure are heating up, aren't they? How are things on your end? Everything's set. All you need to do is sneak down to the harbor. You'll be met there by a man with a, uh, with a dusky pallor. His name is Nasir. Nasir is a man you can trust. I've explained your situation to him, and he's willing to help. If you can reach his ship safely, he'll take care of everything and deliver you to Benyon. Ranulf, aren't you coming too? I was planning on it, but Dayan's movements have me co uh, concerned. I'll stay behind and see what's going on. Okay, uh, who? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't watching where I was going. No, pardon me. Ah! <laughs> Subhuman! Blast. Oh, boy. They're all surrounding him? Jeez, it's true. A subhuman. How dare you come prowling around here? Oh, Ranulf. <gasps> you just... What was that? Beast. You stinking... Uh, you stinking subhumans need to learn your place. Human towns are too good for you. What the heck? Ranulf... Oh, they're just shoving him. Ew, it's so hairy. Go on, scat. Oh, they're being so mean. They're just shoving him. Stop. They're bullying. Oh, Dang, that's it, just dang. Oh, Mordecai and left. Mordecai. Ike, we must leave. What? No, we have to help Ranulf. All of this noise will attract the attention of Dayan troops. That's why we have to hurry up and help. He'll be fine, leave him. Ranulf is strong, even stronger than me. It's all right, really? Stronger than you, Mordecai? Uh, Ranulf has no intention of defending himself. Look, he's not even changing forms. I can't just stand by and watch as he gets murdered. Ike, wait. Idiot human! Oh, uh, Ike? Stop! Get out of my way! Keep your hands off him! Who do you think you are? Why would a human want to protect some subhuman? He's a friend of this monster! I saw them talking earlier! What's that to you? Hey, the Crimean Raws have been subhuman companions, didn't they? Maybe you're one of those army guys that Dayan troops are searching for! You there! Dayan soldier! Ho! Oh, there are some suspicious folk over here! Jeez. Huh? That way. Hurry! Uh-oh. Are you mad? Your king was murdered by Dayan! And now you're going to cooperate with them? Well, um... I heard the king was teaming up with some subhumans. That's what got him killed. What the heck? Yeah, that's right. If we need allies, I'll take flesh and blood Dayan humans over some fang subhuman freak! Yeah, yeah. At least we know what we're getting. Trust your own kind! You people are insane. Uh-oh. Oh gosh, we're getting surrounded now, Ranulf. I'm sorry, dude. These look so sad. Oh, the him? Where's the subhuman everyone's screaming about? Huzzah! The Toha Vigilantes are here! Grab those, uh, grab those guys and turn them over to the Dayan army. They will prove our allegiance and gain our village favor. Ha <laughs> ha, if you want subhumans hunted down, I'm your man. Oh gosh, that's the guy who gets a sword. Ike! Ranulf, are you alright? Why did you come back? Because some fool was going to lay there and get beaten to death instead of defending himself. Ah, Ike, what would you have me do? Galia and Crimey have formed an alliance. I cannot jeopardize that by harming these people, no matter what ill they bear me. Uh, even if none of them can care two figs for their own country? Even if they're citizens of Crimey, after all. Oh, Renov, you're such a good... You're so good. Well, I'm not Galleon, so there's no reason for me to hold anything back. Ike, listen to me. They think that you and I are allies. If you attack, it's, it's no different than I doing so myself. So, let me guess. You're telling me to avoid the day in pursuit. Leave the town vigilantes alone. Get to the docks as soon as possible. Find a man, na uh, find a man named Nasir and get everyone on this boat. Is that it? Exactly. I don't care what anyone else says. I think you're pretty bright. All right, I'll play along. But mark my words. If they attack, heads will roll. What? Hey, that's not going to do us any good. Jeez, Ike. Titania, Soren, get everyone together. We're getting out of here. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. This invasion of the town. Okay, so is this an escape chapter? What am I supposed to do here? Um, jeez, there's Dayan troops all over now. We got a pretty big squad, though, if this is our squad that we can even use. I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh my gosh, we have so many units that we can use. Hold on, let's see. Oh, snap, okay. I'm trying to go down. Let's see. Oh my gosh. 
We can use so many units. Okay, let's see. I gotta, okay, hold on. I'll be right back. I gotta choose my units real fast. Oh, Z-Hark? Who's this? Killing Edge? Okay, this is definitely a recruitable person. Um, probably gonna have to talk to him with Ike. Let's be, let's make sure of that. He's like super close by, so you can get to him on like turn two or three or something. Okay, so this is kind of an interesting chapter. I've just kind of looked it over. Um, so basically, it seems the Vigilantes are super weak. Like, look at this. They got, this is the mercenary. Um, so like everyone here is like a soldier. I guess that's the mercenary. There's like, oh, that's just the class. So like soldiers, um, it's just like, I don't know. It's, it's just kind of interesting because I guess they have mercenaries and Vigilantes. Um, but they're like, the Vigilantes are super weak. Like, they're just trash. So we're gonna have to fight the Vigilantes with our weak units. Um, this guy's strong though, so we gotta keep an eye out for him because he could probably attack us. Um, but then like, the soldier, the Dane soldiers and the mercenaries are pretty strong. But basically there's like a few really weak units, so we can probably use, um, like Rolf and, um, any new units that we got against them to get some EXP for them. Okay, I think we're ready to go. There's a couple of villages that we have to visit, one at the very top up here and one at the very bottom, so I think we're ready to go. Hopefully I haven't lost my touch. Let's see how we do. Time to fight. Now what do we got? Uh, listen to me. Do not let a single Crimean soldier escape our grasp. Sweep the entire town. Arrest anyone suspicious. General Mac... Macoya. Macoya. Ah, uh, sir, there's a group of vigilantes who want to help us. What shall I tell them? Hmm, very well. Let them do as they please. Yes, sir. All right. Par... Uh, Nasir. Oh, Nasir. Pardon me. Are you the commander of these forces? I am. And who are you? I'm the captain of the boat you see moored here. My name is Nasir. I stopped by to accomplish some brief uh, piece of business, but your soldiers are now preventing me from setting sail. I need to leave this place. I apologize for the inconvenience. However, we are trying to stop some Crimean soldiers from escaping. To that end, we need the cooperation of all citizens, ship captains included. My ship is a simple merchant vessel, sailing under the flag of Benyon Empire. If I present such documentation, surely it will prove I have no ties whatsoever with Crimea. Under day and rule, such Benyon papers are nothing more than fish wrap. Yet, you called yourself Nasir, correct? Protest too loudly, Nasir, and we may think you a Crimean sympathizer. If that were to happen, who knows what unfortunate fate might your simple merchant ship. I see, so be it. Okay, well I guess Nasir is gonna just go wait on the ship for us. You there, soldier! Sir? Strengthen the watch on this ship. That man is up to something, I can feel it. No matter what happens, that ship must not be allowed to set sail. Burn her and sink her first. Yes, sir. Okay, um... Oh, so we're gonna have to, like, catch him on the way back, so it's probably gonna be a limited amount of time. Now then, where is our special guest? What? The Black Knight's here? He's just chilling in a house? I'm right here, General Makoya. Oh, Sir Black Knight, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. No, I just arrived. Let us proceed. I would hear your report. There are no problems whatsoever. I have nothing to report, save the tedium of it all. The farther we travel, or the farther west we travel, the weaker the Crimean fighting spirit becomes. Each town displays less and less resistance. Now they literally throw wide the gates at the first sign of our approach. With a duty as hum uh, humdrum as this, I worry that my troops may, be sl uh, may become sloppy and lose their edge. As a fellow warrior, I can sympathize with your plight. I thank you for your understanding. This town was not scheduled for subjugation until much later. Tell me, why are you here now? Yes, as to that, mere days ago, a castle that held Crimean prisoners of war was attacked and the captives, uh, the captives freed. The perpetrators were Crimean soldiers accompanied by subhumans. According to our intelligence reports, their trail led here. I see. The Princess of Crimea is said to have fled to Gallia. If we can capture this band, we may gain information on her location. Well, she's a little closer than you think, Mr. Makoya. Do you require my assistance? Please, no. I thank you for the generous offer. However, if you were to enter the fray, it would, uh, it would be over in a twinkling. My men are starved for combat. I would beg your restraint so that they may be allowed some entertainment. As you will. The field is yours. Turn your soldiers loose and may their blades run red with glory. Your graciousness is greatly appreciated. She's the Black Knight is here, though? What the heck? What is ha- There's so much happening in this chapter! Uh- Wait, what? Ra Ranulf? He's here? Good luck, Ike. You'll be fine. As for me, I think I'll play a little game of cat and mouse with these day and fools. Oh. Oh! The Gallian subhuman! After him! Don't let him get away! Okay, so he got a few of them out of there. That's good. 
All right, everyone, move out for, uh, for the harbor. Try to avoid conflict with the lo local vigilante group if you can. Let's go. Wait, why? They're super easy, though. Like, I can probably just one-shot them all. Okay. Um, that's right. Mordecai can't really do anything at the moment. Um, uh, okay. So, let's see. Um, I had a plan. I kind of should split up my army into two paths. Um, that's why I have a lot of my weaker units over here. Um, like lower level ones. So, let's see. Um, Oscar. Well, we, gotta, we gotta take care of these guys, I think, first and foremost. Wait, 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 what? Oh. Oh, I can't. So, those guys aren't. They're just on the... Okay, whatever. Those guys aren't part of the thing. Actually, I don't need to do these guys because I should be able to take them all out here. Um, so... What I want to watch out for is these two. Um, there's their range. So, let's see. Boyd, can we start moving in on this dude here? How, oh, I forgot how fast we were. Okay. Um, 14. 17 times... I can one-shot this guy. Um, is it worth it, though? Is it worth... How much does Ike do? Let's check out Ike first. Um... Five times two, nine times two. How about to this dude over here? Because you might be able to double this one too. Nope, you can't. Okay. Um, maybe Ilyana, Soren. Um, okay. I feel like one of these guys is going to be able to escape. So I want to do it with the one with the probably the most strength or the least strength. Okay, this guy's got the least strength and Boyd can one shot him. So I'm going to say go for it, Boyd. Just one shot this dude. Let's see him in combat. Ah, oh, it's so good to see this game again, dude. It's been so long. Oh, it looks so good, too. It looks so good. It's a little blurry, but it looks so good, dude. I'm so happy to be playing this game again. It feels so... Ah, oh, it feels so nice. The GameCube controller in hand. Ah, oh, it feels great. Okay. Ilyana and I probably can't defeat this guy, even, with the, even if they team up. Yeah, so let's see. We can do 13, um, and no one else can attack. But we can prevent this guy from attacking anyone else besides Ike or Mordecai. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have Mordecai come right here. Have him wait. And I think we should be able to take care of this guy with... Um... Wait, there's another one right here? I didn't even notice this one here? Okay. He's level 10 now, so we should be able to um, wipe him out pretty easily. Um, you guys are kind of weak, but there are strong units behind you. So let's see. I can't... Let's see if we can leave... Um... We could leave, like, Nephany here, because she needs some EXP, so we could have her with the Iron Lance stay right there. Um, Volk is a new unit. We can see he's fast. He is a thief, so he will double. He'll take 10 damage, though. So how much does... Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Before anything else, let's make sure that we got this guy over here blocked off. I can just go for... What did I say? Iron, iron Sword or Iron Blade? Let's go for the Iron Blade. Iron Blade is better. does more damage. And since Ike's strength is pathetic, we just might as well keep going after this guy. Alright, that does a little bit of damage. Not not too much, though, because Ike's defense is kind of decent. Um, he's got 11, I think. So, let's see. Soren, Ilyana can probably take out this guy right here. Um, 14. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this will definitely do it. Uh, 10 times 2, then Soren can finish her off. I was checking out some growth rates, too. I feel really bad for um, Ilyana, which I think that's how her name is pronounced. Not, it's not Ilyana. I'm pretty sure it's Ilyana, because it's I L Y. ANA, Ilyana. Um, so, I feel bad for her because all her growths are literally outshined by Soren. It's really sad. Um, like, Soren is just like infinitely better than Ilyana every way, in his growths at least. Um, her bases were pretty good at least. I think she was like faster than Soren as of right now. But you know, we all know that Soren just doesn't want to get any magic, so whatever. I, uh, it's like literally Ike is getting the magic for Soren and Soren's getting the strength for Ike. That's just how it's going to work. Even though Soren has a 5% growth in strength, I really don't get what's up with him, but you know what? You do you, Soren. Speaking of Soren, get let's see if we can get him in action here. How much does fire do? Okay, actually, well, wind is weaker, but it's more accurate. So, um, well, fire. I'll go for fire. I'll go for fire. Um, because we can always we can always buy more fires. Wind. You can buy fires more than you can buy wind. So, might as well um use the expendables more. There we go. Man, I love seeing Soren attack. He's so cool, dude. The magic animations in this game are really cool, too. They're so, like, fast-paced. It's just, like, summon, bam, summon, bam. Okay, let's see. Um, we could have Mia. No, she can't even reach. Um, let's see. Let's get Volk action. We haven't seen any Volk action yet. So he's got a little knife. He can finish him off without taking any damage. It's just perfect. There we go. Got the thief in the action. Boom! Was that a crit? I think that was a crit. I like that animation. Look at that idol. He's, like, ready to go. Volk. Ready to go. I like these, dude. I always gotta have a thief on my team. Always. Because doesn't he... Does he have lock touch? Um, he's got steel. That, that works, too. Lock touch, steel, same thing. Um, let's see. Shade. Cause enemies to attack other... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's pretty cool. Um, 
So it's like enemies will... It's like kind of hiding, so... Um, let's see. I want to... Hmm. Let's watch out for all of these guys up here. I think I'll trigger this one to come down, because I do want to get to that village if I can. So Titania, you can probably take this guy out. Um, let's see here. You've got quite a bit of range. And Mia's right outside of it, so I think I'll keep you right here. Have you use the Iron Axe. That'll probably one-shot you. I'll put Mia uh, right next to Ilyana, because I think these two can... Or that's Nefany, my bad. I know Mia and Ilyana can support. Um, so, let's see. Oscar here, maybe? No, wait, these are the these are the guys that are weak. Yeah, they're weak. So, I want to have... Ooh, never mind. I can't really do anything. So, Mist and um, Riss are going to have to just stay back for now. I think we're okay. Um, yeah, I think we're fine for now. Oscar, I'll put you... Why don't I bring Oscar? No, I want Oscar over here. In case things get rough, because we need more stronger units over here. Let's see how we did. First turn's finished. Um, uh, hey, are there really subhumans about? Oh yeah, no mistake about it. And they'll, uh, they'll soon as kill you as look at- Oh, uh, they'll still as soon kill you as look at you. Where are they? They're over there. Uh, cunning beasts. We're just about to start f flushing them out of hiding. I see. If you find one, be sure to give me a call. Okay. Uh, ho -ho, I like that guy. He came to our little town just, to th just for the chance to hunt for subhumans. Jeez. All these freaking racists! Okay, oh, wait, is that an archer? Oh, a hand axe. Okay, oh, wait, hold up. Hand axe? Nefany, okay, nice. I know Nefany has a pretty good speed growth. Um, I've heard she was really good. I, I think that's just a rumor, but I don't know if she's really good, but, um, I just heard that she's really good. Alright, Ike. Gonna take another, what, nine damage retaken? Eight damage? 10 damage. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you're not getting doubled, Ike. Oh boy. Thank, thank the gods that you at least have some speed. Oh, oh, okay. I guess you're going back there. Here we go. I don't know why I thought I should put Nephany there when she literally loses the weapon triangle, but you know what? Axe users suck, so it's fine. Wait, whoa, you doubled him? Okay, that was cool. That was cool. You're actually doing pretty well. Then again, they're like level one, so it's whatever. Okay, here we go. You should get pretty much destroyed by Titania's axe. Here we go. Horse v. Horse. Horse! Wow, you actually did a good amount of damage to Tanya. She didn't even kill. Um, that's strange. Well, okay, that's fine. We have we have lower level um, units out here for a reason. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I forgot Pat the Rains just likes to throw everyone at me once. I forgot. Ah! <laughs> okay, this is bad. Um, let's see. Okay, we're going to have to completely ignore this side. Um, and we're going to have to bring everyone else over here. Um, Boyd, can you finish this guy off, please? Ooh, hold on. Don't you have, you have hammer? Uh, hmm. You know what's funny is I took a steel axe off you. I'm thinking that I shouldn't have done that. Um, let's see. Hold up. I can probably... Oh, I can't reach? Okay, hold up. Um, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. This is perfect for, um, Rolf, because he can take you... Wait, hold on. Oh, he's doing a lot of damage. No, take you out. Um, it is actually getting kind of concerning. Probably should have started off to the left. There we go. That's another one down. And he's level 3, so that should still give him good experience. Everyone else would get, like, trashy experience from that. Except for Rolf. Um, and I guess Miss too, but she's only on, gonna be focusing on healing. Um, Volk, you are fast. Hmm. Can you take this guy out, maybe? Oh, so close. Oh, you could crit. You could crit again. Come on, Volk. Do a little animation. Come on. Crit! Come on. Come on. Ah, uh, that's fine. That's whatever. Um... Things are not looking good right now. Things are not looking good. Um, let's see. Okay, um, Oscar, you have a javelin, don't you? I want you to see if, can you use the javelin and kill this guy with it? Oh my gosh, you can't. Oh, we, we, it's fine. We, I forgot there's Kanto in this game. So we can use Iron Lance. That's enough to kill. Cool. Perfect. Then we can use Iron Lance, run on back. I literally forgot. I gotta remember that our calves have this ability, which is really good. Um... Because I can now I can use Tanya, probably kill somebody, and then run, run away, which is going to be really nice. There we go. Oscar's getting pretty close to another level. That's really good. Um, put him next to this bush. He and this bush will be best pals. Um, Nephany, looking still fine. Mia, can I maybe... Hold on. We got to find... Who's our weak... I guess Nephany? Hold on. She's fast, though. Well, Mia's fast, too. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Nephany's pretty bad. Okay. Now, at least. Um, so we'll have her take out this unit. Um, let's see. Then I'll probably have... Um, Maybe Titania take out the Cav? I don't know. I'm really trying to think of like who I need to take out who to make sure I get out of this scenario in a safe way and not have all my units die. 
Um, which is literally just fireman in a nutshell. Okay. Um, this will be enough for Mia to take you out. Then though we'll only be left with the Merc. So I think that'll be fine. The Merc is fast though. That's what I'm worried about. Could the Merc double anyone around here? I forget who's even around here. Um, maybe Rolf. Rolf's not very fast. Hold on, let's put it. Oh, let's put you right there. That way you can wall up a bit. Um, let's see. You can attack Volk. You can't even. You can't even reach Rolf. That's perfect. Um, so I'll put Mia right here. Mm, hold on. Let's watch out for you. Um, yeah. Let's. Well, Mia's kind of okay. Um, she's got 17 speed. Her Ava's pretty high. Her defense is decent. She can probably live two attacks. And she'll never get double. Oh shoot, I forgot that um that you are doing no damage. <laughs> All right, you can dodge though, right? You're, you can dodge. Ooh, I could have made a really bad decision right there. Um, yeah, that was actually probably really bad because now Mia's gonna die. She does have vantage, but that's probably not gonna be enough to save her. Um, you want to get any broken levels? Okay. Well, I mean, would have been nice if you had that earlier, but whatever. Um, wow, that was a really bad decision. Uh, I couldn't have even killed, because I only have Iron Swords. Oh, and I can't reach, because I have Volk in the way. Hold on. Um, freaking Volkswagen, what are you doing? Okay. Can I do anything? I think I'm dead. I think I just outright lost this. That's unfortunate. Um, but I guess it's okay. I can always just press the restart button, and I think I should be fine. Here we go. Take this kid out. You know, we could just pull through. We might just pull through. Mia can dodge. She can dodge. Um... I just didn't look at the hit rate of the guy. I swear it said like 17, but I guess it didn't say that. Um, like it definitely didn't say that because she would have dodged it most likely. But then again, my luck is pretty bad. So you know what? Who cares? Take that. I just realized that Boyd almost has 40 HP. That's crazy. What is his? Hold on. Boyd's is a se he has a 75 HP growth. That's really good. I also noticed that the beast units have um, uh, HP growth above. 100%, which I find to be very interesting. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, okay, only Nephany? Oh, okay. Um, man, I wish I had, uh, like, a Physic. I don't have Physic on anybody. Is Physic even in this game? I don't know. It's probably probably not till like, mid-game. We're still, like, early mid-game, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, because since we have, like, a level 3 with us, whatever. All right, heal up, Ike. We might just be able to make it out of this. We might. Because we do have Soren, so maybe I could do something with Soren. Maybe see if I can use him as bait. Maybe put him, like, right here. Um, what's his, like, what's gives him the least Ava? I guess fire. All right. We'll see if we can use Soren as bait. It probably won't happen. Mia's probably just going to straight up die. Come on. Either avoid or... Oh, you're going after Mist. Ooh, you're probably going to double her, too, because she's not very fast. Dodge! Okay. Only one time? That's cool. That's cool. Uh, yeah, her... Okay, that was enough, because he had a steel sword. So that was maybe one of the reasons. Okay, Soren, don't get doubled. Steel lance. I just really got to watch her for these calves. These calves are strong. <gasps> yes, they are really strong. Holy moly, dude. They are way too strong. These calves are way too strong. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh. Oh, Mia's dead. Mia's dead. Um, unless you dodge. Clutch dodge. Clutch, 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 clutch. Vantage. Crit. Clutch. That's pretty much what I expected, actually. Okay, as a quick recap, I'm here. I'm um, still at the end of turn one. I took out all the units in the bottom right, which is pretty good. It took, like, almost my entire squad except for me and Titania. Uh, my plan for right now is to have Mia at the edge of here, Vantage, and probably kill this person here. Um, put Titania on back. See if we can actually bait down this cab up here. Because um, we almost killed him last time. Or, wait, I wonder if I, me going up there baited him down. I'm going to stay... Oh, I'm going to not bait him this turn and see what happens. Um... Let's just see what happens this turn. Hopefully things will be better. Yeah, we heard you the last time. Okay. Um, oh, was I out of range? I thought I was in range still. Oh, it was you. It was this guy. Okay. Um, so Mia should vantage and maybe take this guy out because he's level one. Come on. Oh, yeah, you'll take him out. Because you're fast. That's death. Okay. He was level one, which is a little bit unfortunate. However, I do want to get rid of as many units as possible because we're going to get surrounded here very fast. So EXP distribution is not at the top of my list of worries right now. My list of worries is the calves. <laughs> Freaking calves, dude. There's so many. Okay. Um, yeah. Here we go. So, what is my plan? You know, we actually have a little bit of a hideout up here, but then I'll get caught by on the other side. Yep. I can't do that. Okay, this is tough. This is tough. Well, you know what I could do? I could try and bring my units and form a wall kind of like right in this little area here, this little cubby. So, I think what I want to do is take out these guys here. Um, I don't know if I can really do that, though. 
Um, not with the people that I have. Yeah, ugh. That's gonna be kind of rough. I could have Titania here, maybe be the start of the wall. I could, like, sit right here, go for, um, do this. Okay, that'll allow Volk to kill. Um, or we could even use Nephany with her Javelin. Um, and then I can Kanto on up. And then... I, I, think I, I think I've got the idea. I think I've got the idea. I just need, like, I just need enough space and luck to pull it off. So if I wait right here, um, I can bring it... Oh, I can even bring in Rolf, too. Um, that might even be better? Hold on. Well, Nephany can't even reach. So... I mean, we need to take out that guy. Well, we have plenty of other people to take him out with. Um, gosh, Volk has that extra... Hold up. I'm sorry. Let, let's use Nephany. She is the one who's um, level 7. And she can take you out perfectly, which is good. Um, it's just taking out all those guys on the right now makes it so all my team has to come back over to the left sort of mid area. So it's a little bit... Um, little, I was going to take a little bit of thinking. Um, so let's see. The, the, the Merc over here had a steel sword. So his attack speed is... Let's see. I calculate... Um, strength, weight, so your penalty is 2, that means you have an attack speed of 8. Okay, and you need 4 to double, so that's why you didn't double mist, which her attack speed is 8, because she literally has nothing, which is really good. Okay, Soren, you come right over here, dude. Um, actually, hold on, before that, because if you get hit twice, you're dead. Okay, um, you will live if you're right here. Cool, good, I'm glad I watched out for that. Actually, hold up, um, we gotta make sure that he doesn't get hit by this guy either. So I want to put, like... I can put Volk right here. I can steal? Can I do it? Oh, okay. I'm, stu I'm stupid. Um, I can shove this guy. Yeah, I can shove him over so that other people can attack him over there. That way... Okay, this guy's stuck there. Um, then I could have Soren come even less closer. Well, hold on. Let's see. Um, yeah, how about I bring you all the way around here, Oscar? Um, oh, here we go. This is gonna be some good damage. Um, you go up against... Oh, because he's level, level 1, isn't he? Yeah, okay, then I could give the- oh, I could give the kill- uh, the kill- the kill to, um, Rolf, because he's level 3! That's actually really good. Um, okay, I think we're- I think we might be in business here. As long as I am just careful. So, Mordecai, you probably are gonna also be part of this wall here. Um, yeah, you stay right there. Um, we gotta watch out for this guy, too. Yeah, he can- he can kind of reach anywhere. So, will he one-shot, though? His strength is 20, so... He won't one. He won't one shot Rolf, but he'll definitely be in danger. Um, so I'm gonna keep Rolf actually like back here. Um, yeah, he can't one shot anybody, but he'll do like enough to where if they're hit by one more person, they're dead. Um, which is actually kind of concerning because I think Volk can get killed here too. Uh, it really just depends on who the Cav goes for because he's so powerful. His strength is so high, dude. Um, let's see. Yeah, because if he goes after, uh, they could go for Nephany too. This guy can go after whoever he wants and pretty much make it so that this guy can kill him. Because he's got pretty high strength, too. Um, okay, hold on. Well, maybe he'll, maybe if I, like, use the proper bait, he might go after, like, wrist or something stupid. We just gotta bring our units. We gotta really have Boyd over here, too. Because having an axe wielder is actually <laughs> needed in this game, dare I say? Um, okay, missed. You could actually be a really good bait here as well. Um, I don't want to shove you. I can get over here. You're still at high HP, which is good. Okay. So pretty much, if he goes for anyone who isn't, um... Hopefully he doesn't go for, like, Ilyana, because that would make it, like, the positioning of him to be really bad. And there's mages here, too. This is going to be really rough. Okay. Um... So you are going after Nephany, and Nephany can't get hit twice, I believe? Yeah, that's right, she can't. Um, she can't get hit by the cab, because I put someone on the other side of her, correct? Who did I put there? I think I put Mia? Yes, okay, good. Okay, you're going after Rolf, that's good. Because that way, you're, like, kind of at the edge of the, um... You don't want shot. I know this for sure. Yeah, so you live on five. That's right. Because he had 20. That way he had six. So, um, he'd be doing, like, what, 15 damage or whatever? Or 14? Okay. Titania, you're kind of going to have to be our champion here for a little bit, even though your defense is looking a little lacking. I thought you had a little bit more, Titania. Maybe I'm going to have to rely on Void, but I can't because there's mages. There's mages, too. Oh, my goodness. How am I going to get through this chapter? I don't know. You know what? Maybe I'll have to... If I redo it again, I think I'm going to go up from the top right next time. Um, can I even do that? No, I can actually. That actually might be the strat um, for next time. If I mess up this time, I'm going to go up to the top right. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I think I'm going to restart. Well, hold on. Here's the thing. How am I even supposed to get to there? Uh, that's rough, dude. That's rough. How am I supposed to rescue that with all those guys here? There's no way. That village has to go. 
in hard mode? Or this difficult mode? Hold on, I'm trying to think. If I restart, how can I get there? The only person who I could send in is Titania. And she died. Because they're all like, they all start off right here. So if I even put a unit right there, the calves are going to come after her. And she's going to get you stuck in there. And there's nothing I can do about it. And if I try and send in more units, there's going to be a ton of people down here. So I think that village has to go. It sucks, but I think it has to go. That's really unfortunate. Um, I hope they just didn't have something like broken item, like a master seal or something. Okay. Let's see if we can block off the enemy right here. We have three spots. The, I'm worried about the mages, though. The mages are what scares me. It's not the lance users anymore, but it's the mages. Because if I put, like, my kind of tanky units up there, they're just going to die to mages. All right, let's see. Um, Volk, can you... You can take this guy out. Cool. Um, what does that leave us, though? Where does that leave us? Because I want to Tanya... Thanks for critting the second hit. Appreciate it. Um, I want to Tanya up there. Because she's a good wall. Man, I need Gatry, dude. I need Gatry. <laughs> I can't. I don't want to be skillful. I don't want to be tactical. I just want to spam Gatry everywhere. Uh, which, apparently, he's not even that good. But whatever. I think he's pretty good. Um, all right, so it's Tanya's back up at full. Now she won't have to watch out for those mages. Um, Nefany has got some decent bulk, but like she's just not high enough level. Um, Oscar, that's what we're going to need. And put him right here. Um, maybe even attack a mage? He's gonna get he's gonna take 20 damage from that. Jeez. Okay. Um probably put oh no, we can even step right here, can no, I need right here, here. Okay, I need to get rid of this unit. Hold on, where's where's a unit that I can get rid of? Um Rolf? Hold on, how about you? Oh my gosh, this guy oh we didn't even take out this guy too, I forgot! Okay, Boyd. Actually, this is a good, good job for Boyd, because Boyd will die to mages. So he can do some pretty heavy damage to this guy. Then I can probably use Ilyana to also good do, do, do good damage to this guy, and then maybe finish him off brawl. I think that's my plan for this one. It's so strange that like these guys have so much bulk that I need three units to take out one unit, and I actually really do like that, because it feels better um, than other fine games where you can literally just one, you just, everyone just one-shots each other. Actually, I probably should have, I probably should have gone for Elf Thunder. All right, that's that could have been my mistake. Um, gosh, I need more like mages. I need more mages that do more damage. Do I get any more mages here soon? Like I only have Sword and Ilyana for magical attacks. That's really, I need more than that. Um, Let's see, put you right here, Titania. I think that's good. I'll use Hand Axe. Oh, I could, I'm actually I'm actually gonna wipe the mage out. Wipe one of those mages out. Cause Titania apparently has a little bit of res. She can do that. Oh, that was a crit too? Okay, there was no consequence there. We might actually make it out of that. Thanks to that crit. Um, Jeez, now what do I do? Now what do I do? I don't have enough units. I still feel like I don't have enough units. Maybe I should have brought on, um, freaking Broom? Brom? Maybe I should have hit- oh, maybe it- maybe Mordecai- well, hold on. Mordecai does have some bulk, and he won't- he probably won't get doubled, so I can actually put Mordecai here. He just can't attack. That's actually probably a decent idea. Okay, um, we should have enough units to finish these guys off. They're actually at low HP, so I can probably come up here. Um, he can take- oh my gosh, dude. That's- uh, uh, <laughs> come on, dude. Come on, if only. Uh, that's rough. Man, Ike, you really need some help, my man. You really do. Okay, so Oscar's definitely gonna be sitting right where this guy is. Um, we just gotta have people to finish these guys off. We can't do any damage. They're so fat. Nephany, three damage. Okay, um, Soren's gonna have to definitely take out one. Well, I guess we could also just Kanto. We could just Kanto with Oscar and have him take out one of them. Um, let's see, who has more? You're level 14, so I want... Soren's a higher level, so I'll have you take out this guy. Um, then maybe if I, like, um, use multiple units against someone with 14. The person with 14 will give more EXP, that's why I want to go after him with a, a lower level unit. Because if, if the whole game's going to be like this, I'm going to have to um, start um, balancing my EXP a lot better than I have been doing so far. Okay, um... I also gotta be sure that we gotta take this guy out too, so I can actually... Okay, Rolf and I can do it together, that's good. So, Rolf, please don't miss. Don't miss, dude! That's right. He's got that iron, but he doesn't have Rolf's bro anymore, so that crit rate isn't as good as it used to be. So it's not like we're gonna be able to wipe him out with uh, a good old crit. Okay, can I use... Uh, Alright, no, I'm gonna have to go for the iron, but I have to risk the uh, 81%. Come on, Ike, you're the lord! You need this! That's right, that's what I thought. Good job, Mr. Ranger Ike. I salute you, my good sir, in your white pants. Now we just need to figure out how we're gonna take out this other guy, which it's not like a big deal, but I'm just trying to like figure out who needs to take him out. That's the thing. Like, Nephany can do damage. 
Oscar can probably kill. Let's see. Hold on. It's probably going to have to end up being Oscar. Yeah, it is. Um, Oscar, Oscar. I really don't know which one it is. So let's see. Um, you... Man, you really need to do more damage. How's that javelin? That sucks. All right, Nephany. I think Nephany, you did three. I'll go three. Um, you plus Oscar should be able to take him out, right? Come on, don't get hit. Oh, nice dodge. Dang, she's like kind of been dodging. I don't know what that's all about, but I'm glad that she's doing it. Um, let's see. Here we go. You are doing four damage, right? Three. How's a steel lance? Oh my gosh, you can get doubled? I'll risk it. Because I can't kill him with anything else. I literally can't kill him with anything else. I need this to happen. Thank goodness. Oh my goodness. I was getting really worried. Here's the thing, though. I can't change my weapon now. Oh, well, hold on. I can do a trade chain, maybe. If I do a trade, if I go up to him and trade his weapons, I can maybe swap his weapons. And if I do that with, like, wrist or something... Ah, uh, you get... Also, why are you getting magic? Why? Your magic growth is 20%. I get it, but still. Okay. I can put you right there. So you have the steel lance. So you're probably gonna get... Wait, there's no more calves. There's no more calves. Um, let's see. Your your penalty, your attack speed is, um, seven? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Your attack speed is three. Okay, you suck. Um, okay, I, I think we're actually fine. Because everyone here is slow. Yeah, everyone else here is slow. But the thieves don't matter. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. I'm gonna, I, it, it's at the cost of that one village, though, which is unfortunate. But I think we do have it. Um, speaking of village, can we visit this one real quick? Um, say, aren't you? You are. You're one of those crimings that are the day uh, the Darren soldiers are after, aren't you? Go on, get moving. I'll pretend I didn't see anything. Don't worry, just go. Wait a second, here, take this with you. What? Draco shield? You're really gonna give me a Draco shield? I mean, okay. That's uh, a free defense stat booster, that's cool. Um, let's see, who was weak? Uh, nobody? Titania? Um, I'll do Titania first. Or, uh, sorry, <laughs> freaking t uh, Nephany. What am I saying? It's been too long. It's been too long since I've been away from this game, man. I gotta keep playing. I gotta keep playing, just revisit more of these characters, okay. How are we doing? Mages? Oh, good thing I healed Nephany. Okay. She's probably gonna be fast enough to dodge, or at least, like, not get doubled. That's right. Yeah, your attack speed was three. What am I thinking? Okay. So you can't get attacked by anyone else, which is good, because there's no other spot where you can actually get attacked by. No one has freaking pass. I don't, is pass even in this game? I don't think it was. I looked at the list of skills, and I didn't see anything. Okay. You should probably be taking... Yeah, you've got plenty of HP. You're fine. Okay, there we go. Ooh, cool level up, and you're guaranteed to get HP, which is always awesome. Are you gonna get two, though? Okay, just one. That's fine. Um, because he has a 150% growth in his, uh, HP, so he can sometimes get two HP for a level up, which is gonna be really good. Um, I don't know what the cap for, H uh, HP is in this game. I imagine it's gonna be, like, something like 80, but, um, if that's the case, he's gonna reach it real fast. There we go. Hand Axe is kinda not what I wanna be using, but it was worth it to take out that mage. It really was, because then other people would be getting, um, hammed by- Oh no, they're going around? Okay, um, let's see. What can I do here? Can I send Titania after this guy? Ah, oh, but then the calves, the freaking calves! He's going up to this village. So actually, hold on. What's the quickest path to that village? It'd be up through here, right? So if I send- I think I can actually send- Let me send my two strongest units, which would probably be Titania and Mordecai. If I send the two of them- Hold on, let's watch out for, um- your positioning also. Um, so I'm gonna send Titania up to go and get to the village. At least make it so um, that, oh, can you reach? Okay, that's unfortunate, you can't reach. Um, I wanna make it so that uh, so that she just gets to the village or at least is able to stop, er, to intercept the thief, basically. I don't wanna get hit by these guys either, so that's gonna be really rough. I think I can actually make it past them. Um, I just don't wanna trigger all these calves. These calves are such a problem. Okay. Um, so, next issue is... not These guys aren't too much of an issue. These guys, I can worry about them later. They're not fast. I gotta kill the mage. So, Oscar... Um, okay, he can do decent damage. How about nephew with the jab? Um, if she hits this, that'll be really good. But if she misses, it's not that good. Um, how about... Sor ah, the res. Okay. Oh, we could try Rolf. Um, or Ilyana. Ilyana? What do you got? Elf Thunder? Seven? I think... Hold on. Let's go for regular thunder. Uh, well, elf thunder is so good. It's so... I need to use it. I think I need to use it. I do like saving my resources. However, some resources need to be spent, you know? It's like, I have this thing where I really want to save all my resources whenever I play Fire Emblem. Oh, sorry. Are you getting doubled? You are. That's not good. Hold on. What's your strength? Is it zero? I thought you had some strength. Hold on. Let me check. Because your strength growth is like 20, so you can actually be a little bit fast. Um, see, the reason... I was looking at her, um... 
her strength grows. It's 20% while Soren's is 5. Which usually you'd think that's bad, right? Because, like, mages don't need strength. However, however, uh, because of what counts as penalty in this game, which is weight minus strength is your penalty, and then you uh, take speed minus that penalty, and that's your attack speed, if her attack is pretty... Or if her strength grows... I'm sorry, not attack growth. If her strength grows is high enough... Um, that means she'll be uh, just as good as doubling as Soren is. So she doesn't actually fall off that bad. It's just that, like, the attack is a little bit silly. Um, but here we go. Or, no, sorry, I'm supposed to be using it against the mage. So I gotta heal. Oh, I got Boyd here, too. Oh, we have Boyd! That's right, we have Boyd. He can't get up there, though. Uh, but he can probably replace where Nephany is. And Nephany does need to be healed. Um, so let's do that real fast. I'm sorry, I'm just, like, I'm trying to focus so hard on everything that I gotta do. So the mage, I can use, um... I think no one else should have, um, dang, I hope I, I should just master seal wrist first, because look at that magic, and that freaking res, oh my gosh, 17 and 18, that'd be so good, look at Soren's 11, what's Ilyana, it's like 12 or something, 10, even worse, like, I need you, you got 17, <laughs> okay, um, okay, sorry, I'm like thinking, steel lance, steel lance, knife, so we get rid of anyone with two range after we kill the soldier, so, Nephany, how much damage do you take from this guy? You take 12. So, if you get hit twice, you're dead. Um, but if we make it so that you can't be attacked twice, you'll be fine. So, you can actually wait right there, and you won't die. Um, then, I can bring Rolf up here, and um, do 8 damage. And then, is this good? Oh, wait, he's gonna die, he's gonna die. Let's heal him up first. I was like, oh my gosh, I was literally about to press the button. Holy moly. Heal him up first have Oscar come in, and then, um, where did I, where else was I gonna do, so oh, I can have Boyd use a hand axe, can't I? I could just do that. Well, then again, I do want Rolf to hit because he is a low level. Um, let's see, hold up. Do you have a hand axe? You do, and you one shot, but if you miss, that's really bad. I kind of want to go for the higher hit rate one. What was your hit rate? You had 67 versus 87. I think I'm gonna do this instead. Um, I think I like this better. But, like, my own, my, my last question is, who's my final tank, though? Is that a crit? That's a crit! <laughs> Rolf! Thank you. Don't even need your own bow to do that. Okay, but what's the, the question now is, who's the final tank? It can't be Soren. Um, because if he crits, or he gets his, like, special skill... Alright, Rolf, thanks. Nice, nice one, dude. Nice. <laughs> um, see, because Oscar, he'll be able to take two hits from these guys? Two hits. Um, three hits even. No, not just two. Um, but like, uh, if Soren does his like little double thing, he'll crit and make things really bad for me. Um, oh, I could do shove. Can I shove somebody up there? Um, or I could, oh, if I had Mordecai, I could have used, I could have used his smite ability. Um, let's see. Hold on. I think we might actually make this work. Um, yeah, hold on. I can put Boyd. Well, Boyd probably can't shove. Probably can get shoved by Soren. Yeah, he can't. Um, I can shove him though. So if I do like, I can make it like a weird looking wall. Yeah, can I do that? No, I can't. Hmm. Hold on. Let me think. I could use Volk. Well, he's he, he he's really low. He's really low though. That's the thing. Um. Hold on. Let me see. Twelve. Eleven. So if I get attacked by you, you're the one who has the strongest might. And I can't kill you, and you'll only do 15 damage to me. Guaranteed. Um, so if I think I can put you right there. I can't steal anything from you. I'll put you right there. I think that's fine. Maybe I should have vulnerated, but I think we'll be good. Then I put Oscar right here, and then if that's the case, boom, 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 no one can get past. Cool. And this is like free damage, right? Well, it's t I'll take 10 damage, so I don't actually want to do that. My steel is actually almost gone, so I'll equip that right there, and then I can actually put Soren right up here to do some cool damage. Um... How much damage do I want to do? Eight, nine, or six, was it? Seven. Um, I want to do more damage to the one that has higher strength, which is the one right in front of me. So I'm going to go for fire, because that's our expendable one. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so much strategy. Uh, <laughs> it's fun, though. I love doing this. I've missed this so much. I really have. There we go. That's another one down. So, and both um, freaking, uh, both Nephany and Volk can't do any damage. So there's no way they're gonna be able to like do some crazy crit and um, make it so make it where we like they ruin our lives and they get attacked twice. So I'm pretty sure we got it. Let's just see. Let's see the results of our hard work. Hopefully, <laughs> please. 
Okay, Cav's coming down. That's good. That's actually what I wanted. Um, hopefully, if Mordecai can get into his beast farm here soon, um, I'm gonna check out his biorhythm. I think at the top of his biorhythm. Nice, that's a good dodge, actually. Because I know I know you weren't gonna die, but still, that's still a nice dodge, so they don't have to worry about you. And not, um, you know, make my heart rate go up to, like, what, 150? Okay. Nephany, you can live. It could be cool if you dodge. You've been dodging a lot. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Wait, what? What was that? Was that, that was not like your regular attack. Hold on, that was probably a skill. That was like a skill proc or something. Okay, he's coming around. He'll make it to the village. Oh, you're joking. You're joking. Uh, Commander Har, awake. This is no time to be sleeping. A subhuman has been spotted. Come, let us join the thrill of the hunt. <sighs> Let's not. Even if we don't lift a finger, Ma uh, Makoya, or Makoya's pups will take care of everything. Battle glory awaits. Would you allow the others to steal this chance from beneath your very nose? Uh, go entertain yourself, will you? Fight a soldier or lance, a peasant, or what do you will. But for the love of flying, stop interrupting my sleep. Uh, you're such a... The fighting? Uh, wake me up when it's done. <sighs> That's it! I'm going by myself. <sighs> what? Jill, hold a moment. Yes? Have you changed your mind? You'll wait here with the rest of us. Don't move until unless we're attacked. That's word from the top. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually really happy about that. That don't move unless we're attacked. Yes, that's perfect. That is perfect timing, Mordecai. Okay, so you guys aren't gonna move until you're attacked. That's really good. Um. Uh, you got Lagu's guard. Oh, I see. Um. So do I have to kill her, or is she a recruitable? She looks like she might be a recruitable. But so is this dude. Oh boy, I'm scared. Okay, let me check out this squad real fast. Mordecai, he can come right up here. And, okay. I think I actually want Mordecai, since he, in his beast form, is, like, super broken. We got 22 attack. That's so good. Um, so I can put him right here. And I think that's good. Are you a bow knight? You have an iron bow. That's interesting. Okay. I think I'll have to Tanya right here with the hand axe. Um, I'll do 10 times 2. You'll do, like, nothing to her. Then, um... Mordecai will be one space closer to the, um, the thief. But here's the thing. If I take out this cab, which he's going to go after Mordecai anyway. So I think it's best for Mordecai to just take him out and reduce the, um, the one space that I'll be missing. So I'll keep the Tanya right here. Then Mordecai comes up and beats him up. There we go. Take him out, Mordecai. We can not have to worry about him anymore. The thing is, I don't want to... Whoa, I forgot how cool the beast animations were. Um, what I didn't want him to do was, like, come all the way down and then attack one of my weaker units from the back. So, I think we're good on that front. 6 EXP, okay. I'm gonna have to figure out some solution to how, um, how I can get, um, people to get EXP, or get, like, my units to get EXP. So, is it the biorhythm that kind of matches this? I forget exactly how it does. Transformation gauge, 19 out of 20. So, we have 19 actions until we turn back into, um, our human-ish form. Or I guess our Bayork form, or however this, however the game house wants to put it. So here we go, Soren. You can take this guy out. However, um, let's see. Um, I think I want Ilyana to do it because she's a level behind. Um, can she do it? She can do it with fire. Perfect. That's actually the perfect amount. Perfect. Okay, you got that, Ilyana. Um, then Soren can go attack the next guy, and then maybe you will have one of our physical units to attack. And we really need more mages, dude. I hope the game gives us another mage here soon. Um, let's see. We can have a potential Wyvern Knight and what was it, Myrmidon? Another Myrmidon? I don't think I need any more. I'm gonna say, I don't think I need any more Myrmidons. Okay, Ilyana, you have... Get some magic, please. Come on. Yes, thank you, thank you. That was actually a pretty decent level up. Um, that, that's gonna increase your hit rate, too. So, let's see. Um, next up, we got this thief here. Actually, hold on, let me take out the big boy. That will take you out. However, um, do I want to do it? Okay, no, I basically have to use Soren. No one else can take him out. Everyone else will do, like, one or two damage, so it has to be Soren. Man, that sucks. I don't want my mages to get overleveled. But then again, then again, it's not like I'm gonna cut them from the team because they're my only mages. Um, it's so I keep thinking like, who am I gonna have to cut though? Because I want to invest in people, but I also have to consider like, if this person's like not as good as another unit, I'm gonna have to cut them from the team. And we're still like early. Soren, do you want to get cut? You want to get cut, Soren? Because you're looking like you're gonna get cut. Okay, whatever. Um, let's ignore it. It's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. Okay, um, he'll do 11 damage, he's level three, so we can probably take him out with Nephany. Um, 
you. I don't know why I did that. Okay, watch out for that thief. Um, and the calves. So I think we're okay. We're actually good on this front. The left side is looking really clear. It really sucks that I'm gonna have to miss out on that village, but honestly, I'm like trying to look at, I'm trying to like look to see if I were to restart, how could I get to that village? I don't think I can. I think I've been so RNG screwed in this entire game with um, some of my best units, like Oscar, he's got magic like three times when he should have got strength. Ike, he's got magic like three times. Until he should have got strength like, like he's level 16, dude. He should have got strength. Let's see, he started with like six strength, right? So he should have eight more according to his growth rate. So he should have 14 strength, not eight. <laughs> Jeez, it's so stupid, dude. My goodness, didn't Rolf have more strength than him or something? Okay, he didn't, thank goodness. He's at level three and he almost has reached Ike. Okay, anyway, let's go for Iron Bow. Then we'll have, um, oh, maybe I should have had Rolf take you out. Because having an, a strong archer is going to be really good too. But then again, I was looking at Sheenon too. Sheenon's growths are insane. He's really good for a Jagan unit. So if we ever get Sheenon back, which I don't know if we do. I think maybe they were just temporary. But let's say we get Sheenon and Gachi back. Um, they're definitely going to have to become part of the permanent team. Because Sheenon seems really good. His like speed, or his skill growth is like 70%, which is insane. That means he's like never going to miss anything. And that's going to be super reliable. Nephany. Okay. Okay, not a huge fan of the magic, but you got strength too, so I don't care. And the res is kind of nice too. Um, what's your magic growth? Magic growth is 20, so whatever. Not going to be using anything, but you know, there could be like some magical based items, which wouldn't be too bad. So let's see, what do I want to do? I kind of want to go for Jill and her squad, but they said they won't be, they won't attack unless triggered. So there's, there was no time limit on this chapter from what I'm aware of. But that could change, so I do want to be wary of that. So I think what I'm going to do, my plan is, um, let's see, let me check up what's at the top left before anything else. Um, there's a bunch of calves. There's a ton of calves. Oh my gosh. There's a soldier here, so is it, what, 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 are, my, what are my conditions? Can I check what my win conditions are? Victory is arrived. Okay. So my victory conditions is once I put Ike here, I win. So I can pretty much take the chapter at my pace, which is good. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to stop going to the left. And I think I'm gonna come back and go and see if I can attack these dudes. Um, Cause they have a little, they don't have res. And they all have iron lance and steel lance. So they don't, they won't be get hitting by, um. I, actually I'm gonna wait a turn. I'm gonna get all my units like right here. And then I want to um see if they're gonna come after us. Cause they said won't, they won't attack us until we attack them. But my question is, is that just part of the story or will they actually come after us? That's what I'm worried about. So everything, all the information I'm getting on this turn is what matters. Oh shoot, I didn't think that would happen. Oh dang it, I can't stop the thief now. I can't, hold on, let's see. One, hold on, you got a range of what? Five, seven, seven? You have seven movement? You're getting to the, that means you're getting to the village next turn. I think I lost that village too. That sucks. There's nothing I can do about it either. Mordecai can't one shot. Wait, hold on. Mordecai though, Mordecai. You won't get to it this turn, correct? Yeah, I've got you like, I've got you done. Okay, hold on, let me check. Speed of 10, speed of 12. Oh, I can't double that one. Well, then again, I could probably double, oh wait, 11? Hold on, let's see, hold on. Let me, let me check the actual attack speed. 48, why the heck am I able to, my weight is 48? Jeez, and how the heck am I, how the heck do I double as Mordecai? How does that work? I don't know, I'm just gonna attack. Take this guy out. Maybe attack with Titania. Are you critting? You're roaring, you're critting. That's a crit. That's a crit and a half right there. Dang, Mordecai. Um, you're going ham, you didn't even need a double. We might actually be able to um, get that village after all if you're gonna keep do, uh, keep pulling up these crits. Okay, Titania, question is, what can you do? Are you, can you only use axes? I forgot. You can use lances as well. We might have to actually put a lance on you sometime. Um, okay, and I'm actually gonna do this. Let's see, five damage. She was taking like, what, eight from the other one? From the other, from the previous guy? From the previous cab that she went up against? And that guy is 12 speed. He's kind of fast, but Titania's fast too. So I don't think I have to worry about that at all. Um, so I don't think she's gonna die. And I don't think the thief would come after her either. Cause the thief is like level three, he's weak. He does win in the weapon triangle, but he's weak. So it doesn't matter. Um, so let's see. Yeah, let's put you right there. Get you even closer. So as long as we can take out of this guy, Mordecai can probably, with his nine movement, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, he can at least block it off. And if I, I can just kill the thief too. That's the other thing, I can just kill the thief. So I'm gonna move my squad back here. Um, keep an eye out for these people. And then 
I'm gonna move in on them next turn. I'm gonna give them bait next turn. I'll give them, like, Boyd as bait. And then, um... Let me actually heal up. I should probably be healing up while I'm doing this right now. Who is low? Actually, Boyd himself is low. So let's move Oscar up here. Heal up Boyd, because I'm going to use him as bait next turn. Um, or should I just do it this turn? Oh, no, I'll do it this turn, because my all my squad is here. So I'll use Boyd as bait for this turn, and see if they come after him. If they don't, then I'm just going to get closer to them. Um, and I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be under the assumption that they're not going to be attacked unless they're being attacked. So I think we should be good this turn. Let's see. You probably won't be able to kill Titania, but after I use her the next turn, you should be able to kill. Then Mordecai can probably one-shot the thief. Come on. Bam. Okay, you're actually doubling. That's perfect. That's perfect. All right, thief's dead. Thief's dead. We got him. That was good. I'm glad we at least got two out of the three villages. Oh, shoot. Ugh, that's not good. Wait, oh, they actually came? Okay. Whatever happened to... I'm not going to attack unless I'm being attacked. Whoa. Wyvern look crazy in this game. What the heck? They look insane. They look so cool, dude. Oh my gosh. That's the first time I've ever seen a Wyvern in this game. Okay, boy, I'm glad we put Boyd as bait then. I am glad that we did that. Okay, because he's actually going to do some decent damage. Are you critting? No way. No way, no way. Oh, that's just how they... Sorry, again, I'm not used to Wyvern Riders in this game, so I'm scared, dude. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. Uh... Alright, on the bright side, Mordecai... It's kind of fat. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You do three damage to him. Um, I'm actually going to hold up. Well, we got this guy, though, too. And he's got a killing edge, and that makes me scared. Um, uh, actually, oh, you know, here's a perfect thing. You have Kanto, too, right? Or do you? Or wait, hold on. Here's what we can do. Titania does. So if I take you out with Titania, I can't take you out with Titania? That's a joke, right? Ah, uh, did Mordecai have Kanto? I forget. Hold on. Can I see? I think it's only Titania that has that. You are a beast. I forget. I can't remember. This is going to be super bad. Because if he gets critted by that guy... Uh, and I, I have to talk to him with Ike, too. Because I think he might be recruitable. So if Mordecai just straight up kills him, I have to restart the chapter. That would suck, dude. That would really suck. Okay, hopefully... This is a good test, though. I, I can't believe I wasn't paying attention to this earlier. Can I Kanto? I can't. That sucks. Um, So let's see. What can I do? Mordecai's probably dead. Um... Yeah, he's like 100% dead. Um, he has a depth. What does that do? Oh, oh, oh! That's what that's what Soren has. Okay, Soren has that too. Um, uh, I'm worried about that. He has 19 and the Killing Edge. I'm really scared about that. He's probably gonna. Uh, Mordecai's gonna one shot him though. He's gonna one shot him. Hold on, let's see. Defense of seven versus Mordecai's attack of 31. So 31 minus seven. What is that? That's 24. How much your HP? 25. He might live. He might live. He might live. Well, that's also if Mordecai lives. Hold on. What? Mordecai just leveled up, too. So he probably won't level up anytime soon. Um, we can see if we can keep two of these guys going after Titania for bait. Um, so let's see. Your range is what? Eight. So if I move Titania, like, right... Hold on. Let's see. All right. If I move Titania, like, right here, uh, give her the Iron Axe. I'll make her a drink of Vulnerary, just in case. Um... I do want to heal her, but I don't think anyone can reach. That's the problem. Yeah, I think we're fine. Uh, actually, I'm going to do one more, just in case. Yeah, we're fine. Um, and now... Okay, maybe it was just Jill who doesn't come after. Um, it, maybe she's the only one who's like, I won't go if I'm attacked. I won't go unless I'm attacked. So we have Ilyana in a really good spot right here. Um, we can just use fire. Not fast enough to double. How about Soren? Oh, we have um, we have Rolf, too, who should be doing good damage against you guys. Because... Oh, my gosh. They're, they're, they're freaking... They're still too, they're still too powerful. They're still too freaking powerful because of their, um, because they're freaking, they're fast. They're fast. They're on a freaking bird and they're fast. Gosh, wyverns are huge. They're huge in this game. I don't even know what to think. Can I even, can, can I even beat these guys? I don't even know if I can. What's their defense? 14. <laughs> That's funny. That's real funny. Um, oh, Boyd was doing some decent damage. Let's see. Boyd can finish you off. 100% hit rate. Surprising for an axe wielder, but you know what? That's fine. I'll take it, Boyd. Go right ahead. Boom. All right, I'm definitely going to be using Boyd here a lot more. Axe I'm not a fan of axe wielders, but I need the attack because no one has attack on this team except for Boyd. For some reason, Boyd has 15 attack. Oh, he's getting speed, too. That's really good. Oh, he's got defense, too. That's really good, too. Uh, he doesn't have any res, though, so if he sees if he sees a mage, he's, he's a goner. Um, let's see. So, Ilyana. We can actually... Oh, this... Uh, I'm 
so stupid. I thought I was in range. I was three away. It's kind of hard to see. Dang it. Did I just lose? I wanted to give the kill to Rolf. Okay, I could have just I could have just game edited myself right here. Oh, is this the end? Hold on. I lost my mage. Ah, uh, this is bad. This is bad. Where did I put Rolf? Okay, Rolf is still available. Mia can't can't do no, can't do anything. Nephany can do four damage. Four damage. Um, I probably can't do anything. So I might be able to scrape by, just barely. Maybe. I don't know if I can. After I stay with Ilyana, I don't know if I can. 13? I don't think I can. Uh, this is really bad. This is really bad. What's your strength? 19? I think everyone here can live a, live a hit from you at least. That's, that's the bright side of things. Oh, missed though. Four defense? She can live. Um, barely though, barely. Why did I do that? I'm so stupid, dude. I didn't need to freaking... Uh, I should just play it patiently. All right, use up, use up your steel lance, Oscar. I can only, I can't kill him. I can't kill him. This sucks. I, I genuinely can't kill him. All because I misclicked. Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't kill him. That sucks, that really does suck. Okay, um, let's just watch your range. Who can die, who can die? No one can die, I don't think. I don't think anyone's in the range of dying. Um, are we good? Rolf, what, wait, where were you at, Rolf? I think you were fine. 19, 17, um, he, he'll do more, but like, he, he's got defense, he's got defense. And he wins the weapon triangle. Yeah, we're, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. It sucks that I misclicked, but he's gonna attack someone, do a lot of damage, but we're good. Okay, received a vulnerate. What, what, did you trade? Did you trade with him or something? What happened there? Um, okay, you're gonna have to risk. As long as you don't double him, we should be fine. I think he was like relatively fast too, so. Please, I'm scared of like what the critting animation looks like. I don't know what it is. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. Makes sense he would go after someone who can't counterattack. Okay. Flying units also have Kanto, that's a good thing to know. Oh, I guess I knew that from um, Marcia. All right, Titania, be careful. Nice dodge, nice dodge, nice, okay. <laughs> Both of you are dodging, that's fine. Um, but Titania's a little bit speedy, so you know, she can get a couple hits in there. Oh, I'm scared, Mordecai. Um, I don't, I'm not worried about you, Mordecai. I'm worried about the guy who's coming after you, who I'm pretty sure is someone that we can recruit. All right, you take him out, be faster. That's fine, that's fine. Just don't get critted, and don't take out the guy who's coming after you, please. That's not the, okay, whatever, that's not the one. Wait, hold on. Can the guy still come after you? Wait, oh, that's right, he's, this guy's like level one. So he's dead for sure. <laughs> he's gone, see ya. See ya, dude, nice try. Okay. Oh boy. So we're in danger of getting critted, but we're also in danger of killing the guy. Come on, uh, huh? Grr? What? Grr, go quickly now. Huh? I'll distract the townsfolk. Now's your chance. What? Why? <laughs> That's literally my reaction. What? Why? I don't want to see any Lacou's harm, so I joined these vigilantes as a double agent. Oh! He was actually trying to help them. I just got, I got so lucky, dude. Mm, I am confused. But you do not smell like an enemy. Our group must get on that ship. We are taking it to Benyon. Will you not desist? Uh, will you not desist? It's much too dangerous. The vigilantes and the Dayans desire nothing more than to kill Lacou's. Even so, we will go. I see. If that is your stance, then I have no choice. Hmm. I will join your group. You will betray your friends? I told you, they're not my friends. I am an ally to the Lagoos. What? You need proof? There! Uh, why, you, why do you drop your blade? That bright metal tool is your only fang. I want you to believe me. Wow, Zihark, you're pretty cool. Please, you must believe me. I believe you. I am Mordecai, warrior of Gallia. Who are you? I am Zihark. Well met, Mordecai. Whoops, I don't think we have yet to, uh, we have time for formal introductions. Let's hurry. Okay, cool. I'll take that, oh. Hello, oh, you're level one, that's right. I was like, uh, uh, wait, I realized you're level one, so you're still doing that much damage to level one? Get out of my face. Burn him, Soren, burn him. Come on, look at these point blank range, that's right. All right, I think we got this chapter in the bag. Sucks that I'm missing that um, one freaking house, but again, again. There's no way I could have made that and lived. Titania would have died and she's my strongest unit. Even Mordecai, if I sent Mordecai up there, he probably would have died. Okay, cool. Now that we got this guy on our side, um, I don't have to worry about anything else. 
Um, let's see. Let's just put Mordecai right here. Oh, he's running out of actions. Um, do I want to go after the village? Is it worth? No. Only thieves can go in the village. So I'm going to shove you. Go a little bit downward. Um, let's make sure we actually take this guy out this turn. Um, we'll heal up with uh, Mist. Then I want to take this guy out. And who is the best one to take him out? What, how much HP did he have? Nine. So if I actually double up with Nephany, um, he can't crit me. I can actually kill with Rolf, which is going to be really good. That, way, that means Rolf can probably level up. And I need a strong archer right now. Nice dodge, Nephany. Jeez, she's a dodge queen, I swear. She's going ham. What, 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 what color is her hair? Is it green? Can't really tell. Green hair? That's cool. I love green hair, dude. Green hair is so cool. That's why my avatar has green hair. Actually, uh, fun fact. Um, the avatar that I use is freaking H-Jet, dude. Um, the color that I actually use is Alm's hair. I literally downloaded a PNG of Alm and was like, Hey, what color should I make my character's hair? And so I was like, okay, I'll just use Alm's hair because I think Alm is cool. So that's that's the hair color. Fun fact. If you like literally uh, just find like the most basic Alm hair color, um, it's what I use for my character. Pretty interesting, huh? Definitely, definitely, yeah, uh-huh, for sure. Okay, um, let's see. Well, here's the thing. Jill... Are you a recruitable? I feel like you are. So, most people are recruited by Ike. We just got lucky with Mordecai. So maybe Mordecai, well, she used mad against Laguz. We haven't heard that. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's Ike. We'll put Ike out there. Ike can't die. Um, yeah, he can't die. His speed is too high. So, I can do this order. Who would I want to, oh, rally? Uh, everyone, form up around me. I didn't, who? Who am I rallying? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know who I'm rallying. Um, that, that was, I remember what the orders were, but I still remember like what just happened there. Anyway, um, yeah, Riss, you need to heal up Boyd. So Boyd, you just go right there. Mia, I'll put you up here. Um, I'll put Oyana kind of coming up here as well. Um, let's see, speed of 11, weight of 33. Why is your weight 33? Oh, it's because you're on a horse. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay, but what's your actual Oh, I can check the weight of this sword. That's right, 12. Okay, there we go. So your attack speed is 9. So you will double Ilyana, which is bad. Which is actually really bad. Um, so, hold on. Wait, not for sure. Hold on. That's not confirmed. Her attack speed is 6. So you can't double her. Your attack speed is 9. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Well, I'm actually just probably going to kill you. Hold on. I can only just defend with Titania. Um, but I kind of want him to attack Ilyana. I'm not going to take the risk. I don't think... I don't think... Um, I'm like 99% sure that she would live on 1. But she wouldn't get doubled at least. She wouldn't get doubled. But you know what? I'm not going to take the chance. I'm not going to take the, the counter. <laughs> That's what that was. That was it. That was that 13 or whatever percent chance. Or I think I was on Ike. Um, but here we go. Now comes the uh, now comes the moment of truth. Is Jill. Is she a recruitable enemy? Or is she um, just an actual enemy? All right. Heal up. Um, Freaking boy. Before, is that a men that I'm using? Or is that just a basic heal? Because that's really good if that's your basic heal. Riss. Well, let me check you out real fast. You are using basic heal, and that does magic converted to HP. So it's just 17 plus whatever it does. Okay, I'll uh, restore 10 HP. Oh, 10 HP plus magic. I see. So then that would do 27. That's really good. Wow, you're such a good healer. You're a god tier healer, Riss. So much better than Mist. Sorry, Mist. Okay, um, now we just have Volk. He can kind of come right over here, Mr. Volkswagen. All right, what do we got this turn? Please don't tell me I messed up. Go ahead. You can have those vulnerabilities. I don't care. All right, um, you're going after Mordecai. He still has six actions left, so he should be fine. You're also just dead, by the way, because he's Mordecai. There's no no reason to fear. I swear, Mordecai, without this, without Mordecai, I don't think I could have done this chapter. Same with the last one. Mordecai is like my MVP, always. He really is. Well, Boyd, Boyd's actually been pretty uh, useless. Useless. I'm sorry, Boyd. You've been really useful this chapter, too, Boyd. Okay, Jill is coming over. Here we go. So, here's a question. Are you a recruitable? Um, Father, please lend me your protection in this, my first battle. Your first battle? Okay. Um, that's some decent damage. Boom. I, I, I did damage! He did 5 more damage! Wow! I mean, I guess this person's like level, what, 8? I think they were? Um, okay. So, can we chat? Can anyone chat with you? Um, hold on. Okay, so, um, I looked it up. See if Jill is recruitable. She is! However, <laughs> we have to not kill her in this chapter. She's not recruitable in this chapter, apparently. So, we have to somehow do this chapter and also not kill Jill. So, what my plan is, 
is I'm going to have to take my four weakest units, surround her so she, so she can't move, um, and she's going to keep attacking over and over again on those units. But I have to leave, like, clerics down here, too. So I think I'm gonna, probably going to have, let's see, Nephany, how much? 12 damage. So if I unequip everything, she can't die. But then again, my some of my good soldiers, like Mia, she hasn't been really doing, putting that much work. 14, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. You wait right there. Um, there's no one else. I can't have Oscar be one. That, see, you're gonna attack. Volk is fine. I can, I, I can also have Volk. Um, I need Ike to finish the chapter, I'm pretty sure. Um, Rolf, let's see. Let me see here. Eight damage, okay. Um, well, I can't actually check how much damage he'll do to him. And I need Soren. Boyd is fine, actually. Actually, I want Boyd to be attacking. I need Boyd up here to attack. There's calves up here. I need, I need strength. Maybe Titania? I feel like I need Titania, though. I'll, I'll keep her here for now. But here we go. Everyone has no weapons. I mean, we're actually, hold on. Let me, let me, let me get Volk over here. <laughs> um, move Ike right here. Good. Um, put you right here. Because I just don't want you to die. So, I'll unequip my knife. Can I steal stuff from you, actually? I can't steal this. Um, but I can steal your vulnery. Cool. <laughs> that gives me EXP. That's awesome. Okay, she's stuck there, so she's going to be forced to kill people. Um, this actually does give us a good opportunity to heal and get our clerics up some levels. Um, it's just unfortunate that I can't really do much now. Um, so let's see. You and you. Um, let's see. You have more range than this guy, right? Yeah. So I want... Um, yeah, okay, that guy does have more range. So I can put Bo... Actually, I can put Os... Scar right here. He can uh, go for his Iron Lance, and then we can probably take everyone out um, on this side next turn. Mordecai, Mordecai, I'll have you. Um, you're about to run out of your beast form, so I'll just have you go and visit the village. We'll have you probably wall up later uh, when we go and attack these guys over here. We gotta make sure we take out this guy too, that random soldier who's just a cleric. So um, could have Rolf go do that. Hold on, actually, real fast. <laughs> What's the range of you guys? So you're you're gonna come after whoever comes after you. Oh, we have a Lagoose Sayer too. I can't I can't even bring Mordecai over there then. He'll just straight up die. I'll have to I'll, I'll have to use a Tanya. I'll have to use a Tanya. Oh, you know what Mordecai can do? He can be the fourth person here. I can replace him with a Tanya. That's perfect. So the plan is I'm going to take care of the Merc and the uh, Cav up here, or the um freaking whatever they call them. The thing I keep thinking I'm mispronouncing the whole time. Uh, I'm gonna take care of them. Okay, you're going after Nephany. That's cool. She won't counterattack. No weapon. Um, so as long as she can't crit, which I'm pretty sure she can't crit. Cool, nice, Nephany. That saves me a heal. Again, Nephany dodge queen for some reason. Um, cool. Doesn't look like we're gonna have to. It doesn't look like we're gonna be able to kill, or we're gonna be able. Doesn't look like we're killing Jill, which is good. Um, that way I'll be able to recruit her. And having a Wyvern Lord could be really nice as well. Um, because I don't have a Wyvern Lord yet, and that defense that she has seemed pretty good. So, yeah, Mordecai's back to normal. We'll have him um, switch spots with Titania eventually after he visits this place. So, uh, ah, this is subhuman. No, <laughs> help. Mm. <laughs> Just nothing, that's it? Oh, I can't visit with Mordecai because he's a subhuman. Yeah, okay, dude. Freaking racism. All right, um, Ilyana plus Soren plus Oscar should be able to take you out. That's, that should be enough. We got the fire, and then the fire, and then iron... Oh, I can, I can use Boyd, too. Well, I also want to make sure that I get a weaker unit to finish off the, um... Whatever this guy is. What's he called again? The Vigilante. I don't know if it's, like, Vigilant or Vigilant. I just, I'm pretty sure it's just Vigilante, but I, I'm also stupid, so you know what. Oh, we can just have Rolf take this guy out. Well, hold on. Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, sword can do nine damage, so... I can't make that happen. I can do four damage with you. How much does Boyd do? How much does Boyd do? 13? How about Hand Axe? 12. That's not what I want. Um, Z-Hark. Hmm, do I want to use him, though? That's the question. I don't know. He seems like a cool guy, but, like, I don't know. I had to compare him to Mia, I guess. He has a depth, which is, hmm. Well, he's going to be fast enough. He's going to be fast enough to double people anyway. Let me think. He does seem to be better than Mia, honestly. Like, comparing- well, actually, I don't know. He's- he has more strength. But Mia has more speed and defense right now. Well, she's a level above him, too. Um, and I really like v Mia's vantage, too. I don't know. I think I'll keep Mia for now. Because I really like that vantage. And I'm going to hold off on using Z-Hark for now. 
I could still use him up later. I'm just holding off on it for now. Um, let's see. Okay, doesn't look like I can force... I'm not gonna be able to force that guy to come down. I'm just gonna have Rolf and Sorn attack, and that should finish him off, I think. Or no, we already tested that that doesn't finish him off. So Oscar actually does have to attack. Eight damage. He'll be pretty low. I don't want that. You know what? I'm just gonna have him finish off with Boyd. I can't take... I can't take all this... This is too much. This is too much. I'll, I'll do Rolf, and then I'll just do Boyd, because, like, I can't... <laughs> I keep trying to like position things, and I'm just like, I'm just overthinking things. Just take the freaking guy out. He's an annoying cavalier. I just gotta take him out. Be done with it. Rolf's getting a level. Please don't just get luck. Please get strength. Please get strength and speed. Mm, what is it with all my units and getting magic? Why? You guys are physical attackers. You fools. I'd be okay with my magic users getting attack, but why? Why? Why are my physical units getting <laughs> attack? I mean, it's magic. What's happening? I can't take it anymore, dude. I can't. It's too much. I'm gonna just be getting magic for the rest of my days, Boyd. He's gonna end up using a magical axe. He's gonna be using a zap axe. Whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. All right, um, what do I say I wanted to do? I don't even remember, dude. I'm, I'm out of I'm out of my, my thoughts. My head is empty. I have no more thoughts. Now I remember what I wanted to do. I actually wanted to play the game. Um, that's right. I gotta leave one cleric back here. That'll be missed. So I'll bring Riss up here with the team. Get Soren on up here. Um, I'll just have Oscar take this guy out because I'm tired of looking at him. Get out of here, dude. See ya. I could have you. I could have Rolf take you out, but like I don't think I can even provide bait with anyone who won't just one shot you. Uh, maybe Soren now. I don't know. Maybe Soren could have been adequate bait, but I'm too lazy. I just wanted to see this guy gone because this chapter has been long enough, and I kind of want it to be over. You know. And I'm not saying that I want to uh, stop playing this game again. No, I definitely love it. But this chapter has gone on long enough. And, you know, I kind of want to be done because there's, like, just things in the back of my mind that are worrying me. First thing being Jill. Um, I don't like having, you know, surround her. I could... What the... What? 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 What are you... What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Oh, I think I know why. Miss, don't die. Miss. Don't die. Don't die. Was it the rally thing? Was that why? Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Was that the rally? What was that? That was the rally, wasn't it? Because I accidentally did that earlier? Why didn't I just make them wait? I should've just made them wait. Uh, I was so close, dude. Uh, why? You said, you freaking said you wouldn't go after someone unless you attacked. I didn't attack you, I just stepped in your range. Why? Uh, I'm so mad! It's been an hour and 50 minutes! <sighs> why? I don't want you guys to move! Why'd you do that? <sighs> uh, Alright. Here we go again. Okay, um, I'm on turn one again. Real quick, I'm gonna be skipping this one real fast. Um, I think my strategy now is I've sent these three up here. Um, the mages aren't actually in range, which is cool. Well, actually, not, well, just one. But, um, Titania crit this guy up here. Ilyana crit this guy down here, so that was really good. I'm probably gonna be able to get to this village. Um, unless the thieves want to go down. But I hope the thieves are actually gonna come after Titania or something. Come after, um, and, and go ahead and go and attack her. These three I have up here because they're my biggest tanks. Um, and I'm just gonna, like, take care of these guys down here one at a time. And then I'm gonna take care of these guys down over here one at a time as well. And I think we should be good to go after that. Oh my gosh! Ilyan, I got another crit, and it's on that stupid cavalier that I had such trouble killing. Oh my gosh. I gotta say, viewers, this time it's going really well. It's going really well this time around. I gotta say. We were getting so lucky. That's like my fifth crit. Um, I got like I had Mia shove Riss up here. I got Titania, Oscar. Oh, he's a little bit low. I do have a vulnerary though, so I'm gonna sip sip on that. Um Oh, but this it, this run is going so well. This run is going so well. I'm so lucky. Mordecai's down here just to, like, be a wall. He's, he's just a wall. Um, Tiny's got the hand axe so that she can take care of any mages that come after her. Um, and there is a thief that is, like, right here. So he might come down. However, I got Ike pretty much ready um, to come into position. I can have someone shove him next turn after I beat up this mercenary. And boom, we got that village, which is cool. And that thief over there will definitely not be able to kill Ike. Um... These people are nothing to worry about. Once I kill the thieves, I can take the chapter at my own pace. 
because then I won't have to worry about the villages anymore. And that's really awesome. That's really, really good. This run is going super well. As long as I don't get like critted or something stupid happens, I think we got it. Okay, the mages are actually gone. So this is actually looking really well for us because we have our wall set up and there's no more enemies in two range. So what I can do is have my wall completely set up. I can even take it at my own pace. If I really wanted to do this, I could unequip everyone's weapons and just have the people from behind keep taking them out slowly but surely. So this is actually looking really well for us. I just need to get rid of the thieves. Once the thieves are gone, I 100% have full control over this chapter. Once they're gone, mm, nothing else to worry about. Okay, Mordecai just turned into a beast. This is so perfect. Titania dodged like every single lance. Now all the calves are super low. This person can heal them up, but that's gonna take time. And oh, and the thieves are right out in front. So this is perfect. We are in the perfect position to just wipe them out. And I'm actually not gonna even take any chance. I'm just gonna have Mordecai and Titania take them out. Then I'll have full control over this entire chapter and that is perfect no one can thief when jill appears i'm out of her range no one's in her range um, i'm not even gonna trigger her bodyguards i'm gonna trigger them I'm just gonna leave them alone i don't care if it makes me get rid of experience then all i have to do is come up here loop around back over here uh recruit z hark and then um come back over here and take care of whatever happens and i'll see i'll probably see you when i'm like right around in this area because i think this is just gonna be kind of tedious but i'll get it done Pretty quick. Actually, before anything else, I can actually put someone right in the village right here, and they can't get attacked, so let's visit this village real quick, see what's going on. Oh my gosh, are you are you really fighting Dan? Ooh, that's so brave! We've heard so many rumors about Crimea's defeat. That's why everyone in town acts like they do. No one has the courage to stand up to those fierce Dayan forces. Everyone believes that if they just cooperate, life here will go on as it is as it always has. Please, take this magic scroll. It was my brother's. He was murdered by the Dayan army. Fight for him too. Okay, magic scroll, Elwyn, ooh, okay. That'll be going straight to Soren, I can tell you that. Oh shoot, okay. I didn't kill both thieves, however, Jill just arrived. But the, one of the thieves just ran on back, so that's not good, actually. Um, I might have to break formation here and send Titania up. But then again, if I go up there, I'm triggering those calves. So, things are looking bad again, unfortunately. All because I couldn't kill the thief. And I, I really just should have. Well, hold on. Here's the thing. These guys ran away. They were at like full HP, but then they started running away. So if I'm able to kill one of those calves, like this guy here, if I can kill this guy, I can't. If I were to be able to kill that guy, um, like with Boyd, I could have to tiny kill the thief. And then, you know what? I think I might just be going all out this turn. Let me just see. Let's see. If I go all out this turn, can I still? I think I can. I think I can. I can still like do like a partial wall. I can do a partial wall. How about that? I come in with Boyd, take care of you. Titani comes up, kills the thief because I know she can. Oh wait, no, she can't. We learned that. We learned that earlier that she can't take him out. Wait, hold on. Maybe if I get a steel axe from the convoy, do I have? I don't have a steel axe from the convoy. Ah, uh, Titani can't take you out though. Oh, wait, oh, yeah, oh, oh, she can. Okay, never mind. Dead. See ya. <laughs> must have been the other thief. There must have been somebody else that I was thinking about. Okay. Well, you're dead. See ya, thief. Okay. Now the chapter's somewhat back under control. All we gotta do is wall up again. Um, and I got Mordecai for that, so that's perfect. Um, it's just that Titania is now gonna be like on the outside of the wall, which is fine. And uh, we're gonna have to like maybe take care of these two so that I can like kind of come up here as well. Um, that way Boyd doesn't instantly die, which he shouldn't die. He's, he's kind of bulky. Plus Mordecai's got his beef, beast form anyway, so he's gonna take care of this knight easily. He's gonna cleave straight through him. Mordecai definitely best teammate. I really gotta stop using him too much. Honestly, after probably this turn, I might see if I can stop using him. But it's just, this is the one turn that, this is the one turn that matters. So, the one turn that matters, I'm okay with using Mordecai. Um, and then I just have to come around from the top left all the way back to the right. And I think there we go. I think we're good. After after that attack from Mordecai, I think we're good. Got it under back control. See you in a second. That was a crit from Nephi. That looked sick. That was sick. That side tip and then just a, mm. That was sick, Nephi. That was really cool. Okay, things have changed again, but we got we still got the wall. Now, if, now we don't have to worry about the thieves. Or wait, do we have the wall? Hold on. Uh, okay, this still counts. This still counts because the building's right here. So this is pretty cool. We just got another wall set up, and they don't have any mages or javelins. So we just got to kind of put like Boyd behind and then put Soren behind, and we should be pretty good to go with just like, you know, cleaving through all these guys. <laughs> Boyd's getting magic too. It's so stupid, dude. He got strength, it's fine. Soren's critting! Let's go, Soren! That's death too. His thunder was doing 10 damage? That's crazy, dude. This 
I am getting so lucky in this run! After getting pretty unlucky in the previous two runs, all the luck is like bottling up in this one. We've been getting pretty good level ups too, Soren. Come on, you wanna do some magic? <laughs> the luck! Uh, I love returning to this game now, I feel so good. <sighs> oh no, okay, hold up. I'm really hoping that this guy here is stationary because I could have just made the biggest mistake of my life. He's got a Lagoose Slayer. He's got a Lagoose Slayer. I don't know how much extra damage it's gonna do, but he's got one. Okay, let's see, how much? Uh, it does increase damage against Lagoose. Well, it one shot him though. He's got 22 attack with that. So, I personally do not think he'll one shot Mordecai. Mordecai's kind of fat. He's got 18 defense and 42 health. I don't think he'll get one shotted. Um, and honestly, hold on, let's see. The claw. What does Mordecai's attack? Okay, wait, uh, that means your penalty. Oh, your penalty is just. So your speed, your attack speed is 13. Yours is, um, is freaking, um, also 13. So you can't double, you can't double Mordecai. You can't double Mordecai. There's probably no way he's gonna die. I could also, like, kind of defend if I put, like, Titania here. Um, maybe? If this cleric wants to stay there and be a stupid idiot, then by all means, stay there and be a stupid idiot, cleric. Um, that way you won't come after Mordecai. Moment of truth, does he move? He's not stationary. He's going after Titania, we're good. We're good. He's probably gonna do, like, a good amount of damage with his bow. But as long as he's not using Lagusa, that's fine. Hm, they're actually fleeting. They're not actually headed this way. It appears that we have underestimated the courage of our foe. All right, dude. How much damage? Five, six, six, six damage. That's cool. Six damage against Tanya. I'm good. All right, cool. I'm fine with that. So I get rid of his other calves, and then we can take out him. Gonna be kind of rough though. Tanya's gonna have to take a lot of hits here. Um, never mind. <laughs> He's a god. Okay. Um, it's just the boss again. Uh, now, now the last challenge is beating the boss. We just gotta get past the boss, and we got this. Kind of sucks though because I can't send out any of my other any of my other forces because no one can kill. Oh no, the Black Knight. That's the meme. That's the meme. I know about that meme. All these men and they're still having problems. Did I make a miscalculation? Are you kidding me? I had to fight the. Ah, uh, uh, it's him. Oh my. Is he? Don't tell me he's. Gonna, if he comes after us, dude. If he actually. He's not using the Lagoon Slayer. He's just going after Tanya. All right. I mean, okay. But my question is. Oh, is he actually, is the Black Knight gonna come first now? Cause that's the thing. I haven't yet gotten the new recruit and I also haven't gotten the last village. If the Black Knight's stationary, cool. Cool, come out of there Black Knight, sure. Problem is, if the Black Knight isn't stationary, also I'm really scared. Ah, uh, Titania, don't die, please. Don't get killed by Steel Lance, that's not cool. Well, who else can attack you? One person? Oh, you're going after Oscar, that's fine. All right, I really need to know. Is the Black Knight gonna move? If the Black Knight moves, we probably lose a chapter. If he's super slow, we might not lose a chapter. Um, Mordecai, I don't know how many uses he has. That's a thing. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving, he's moving, he's moving. Um, and Mordecai just turned back to normal. Oh, okay, this is really bad. Uh. Uh. All right, we need a plan. We need a plan. Ah, how long I... oh, Any unit who touches him is one shot. He has a movement of six. Ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... There's no way. There's no way. I. I'd have to go around one, two, three, four. I'd run back into Jill. This chapter is so hard. This chapter is so hard. I I have to either abandon the new recruit. Really, the Black Knight messed everything up. I was perfectly fine until he showed up. If he just stayed still, come on. I can't even. Uh, what can I do? I have to run. Thanks to the Black Knight, now I have to freaking run. Come on, I had everything done! Are you kidding me? The amount of luck I had in this chapter and then the Black Knight shows up? Come on! I don't even know... What am I gonna do? My units, some of them have three, five range! Am I gonna have to like, just have people carry them? 
What am I gonna do? I have to somehow, somehow recruit. I I'm okay with passing up on the village. I need to somehow recruit Z Hark though, because I like uh, well, the way I play farm games. I don't like leaving anyone behind. That's my motto. I can't leave anyone behind. Um. Oh my gosh, that's so dumb, dude. That's so stupid. And Mordecai like lost his form at the perfect time. And by perfect, I mean worse, obviously. But like, uh, it's just oh, come on. All right, boy. I don't care if you get doubled. Run, run, run. This chapter has turned into a run fest. Okay, good. That's what I wanted. Cause he can attack. He's gonna probably double boys, but boy can actually counterattack. That's what I want. That's what I want. Don't do 20 damage though. Okay, 12. That's still pretty good. Boom. Okay. Are you gonna double? You're gonna double. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. It's not actually fine though. That's the thing. I have to kill him this turn. Please don't like go back. If he goes back. Uh, <laughs> the Black Knight, dude. He's gonna one shot everyone. He's gonna one shot everyone, dude. No one stands a chance against him. Not a single person. Uh, why couldn't he show up like two turns later? Two turns is all I needed. Two more turns, dude. I know it's turn 10. Turn 10? That's so early for him to show up. What the heck? Wait, he's moving super. Huh? I thought your movement was six. He's moving three at a time? Oh wait, he was right here, right? He moves three. <gasps> we can still do this, we can still do this. If he only moves three, we have a chance. We have a chance. Okay, with that newfound knowledge, we have a chance. Okay, Um, all my mages are still up here, that's good. All right, Ilyana, can you one shot? You can, but you, you will die. Can I guarantee you one shot? I can't. Um, Titania? I don't care if Titania has to take out the boss. Oh my gosh, really? That's all you're doing? Ugh, Mordecai, if only, if only, if only, if only, if only. Okay, I need answers. I need an answer for this. I really need an answer for this chapter right now. And I think the answer is taking out the boss somehow. How much does Ilyana do? Six damage. Why is he so buff? This is hard. All right, um... It's gonna be harder than I thought. All right, I need to. I need. I'm gonna have to stay here for a few more turns. I'll leave my like move. Uh, I'll leave my kiddos with like six range here. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, put Tanya back over here. Um, have him have her kill this guy. Um, Mordecai is gonna stay up here just to like be Mordecai. Um, I'll heal up Boyd. Let's see. Boyd took 24 damage from that guy, right? He took 24 damage. So as long as we take out the other Cavalier and force. Um, the other guy, make it so he can't attack, he can't kill Boyd. Um, can he crit Boyd? That's the other thing, actually. What's his crit? He's got a lot of skill. What was his crit rate? Let me see. Uh, zero. Zero, 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 zero. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. He can double him, but he can't crit him. Cool. Mordecai goes right there. Um, then the question is, do I want... I can't even reach Ilyana. That's, that's actually kind of sad. Um... So I can put Oscar up here. Yeah, I think that's what I have to do. Kind of sucks, but he won't die. He won't die. He won't die. He won't die. Okay. Um, man, this is really rough. All right, missed. Heal 31. He'll live. He'll live. He'll live. He'll live. Okay. Um, uh, the Black Knight. Dude. I'm so glad the Black Knight's moving three instead of six. That really helps us. So hopefully he comes after Boyd again. That way, oh, Boyd barely hit him, though. He, he got lucky. I'll have to hope that he gets lucky again. Another coin toss. He'll do 24. Um, Boyd's almost out of his hand axe. That's, that's fine. What's whatever. Um, ugh, this is so rough, dude. It all it all comes down to recruiting him and getting out of here alive. This is like the longest chapter I've ever done in like any Fire Emblem game, honestly. Like really, this has been the longest chapter I've ever had to do. Okay. He can't reach. I'll put my two mages here because I need them. Nephany. Um, I'll even bring back... Rolf, because he can shoot from afar. Um, Volk, because he can, you know, do stuff. Ike? Actually, I do want Ike to come up here, because Ike probably has to be the one to end the chapter and arrive. So if I can choose to end the chapter, like if I have to step in the same range as the Black Knight, and then I can also leave the chapter at the same time, that's perfect. That's actually perfect. My one question is, if the Black Knight is coming after us, or is he coming after the boat? Because if he goes after the boat, it, it's over. The, the chapter's over. I can't win. Um, okay. Boyd? Come on. 
Please hit him. Please. Thank you. You probably just you probably just saved the chapter. Those two 50% hits, Boyd. You save uh, you saved us. I, I guarantee. Boyd's the MVP. I don't care what the chapter. At the, I don't care what Soren says at the end of this. Boyd's MVP. Boyd is 100% MVP. <laughs> that backflip. Jeez. What the heck was that? All right. Come on. Oh boy. Oh, he's getting so close, dude. He's getting so close. How many more turns until he, until he arrives? Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, probably like two. We have to finish. We have to finish this guy off now. We have to. Somehow. That's Oscar. Um, we gotta kill this guy. I don't care about you. You can live. Um. Oh, look at the Black Knight, dude. He's so close. All right. Um, Mordecai. Mordecai can't do anything. He's just serving as a wall right now, so he has to come. He has to go... <sighs> What's the quickest way to him? The quickest way kind of doesn't really work. He's about to get to it back to his beast form, though. That's the good thing. Um, let me see. Can I shove him? I can't. He, he, Mordecai probably can't be shoved by, like, anyone. Like, pretty much the whole cast probably can't shove him. Yeah. That sucks. Um, Ilyana, how much damage were you doing? Careful not to double-click. Okay. 14, 6 to you. Um, Titania was doing like 8? Eight? 8 damage. Okay. I'm probably gonna have her attack and run. Attack and then run. Attack and run. That's our strategy right now. This guy is so fat. He just needs to go down. He's so fat. Gosh. Okay. Titania. Maybe I shouldn't even attack with Titania. Well, I needed to. I need to kill the boss. The boss needs to go. All right, I'm banking everything on that the Black Knight doesn't come up here and he chases us. Because if he chases us, we're fine. But if he comes after us, it's over. It is over. Soren, can you double the guy over here? You can. Perfect. Soren, that really helps out a lot. Now that that guy's gone, I can take it. Oh, that's even... Okay, now it's like guaranteed death for sure. That's a double from Soren. That's a triple from Soren, I guess, technically. Um, there we go. Okay. Let's think. Black Knight's on our tail. Um, I just have to go around and not get hit by Jill. I have to kill this guy. Boyd? Boyd. Boyd. Can you do it? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Come on, Boyd. 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 Come on. I'm crossing both my fingers. Boyd, come on! Yes! Thank you, Boyd. So we were the ones guilty of miscalculation. How shameful. Your Excellency, the rest is up to you. That's right. Thank you, Boyd. Mm. Boyd's MVP. Boyd is MVP. I can't. I didn't even bring him in the last chapter, did I? Oh my gosh, Boyd. I'm so sorry. You're the MVP of this chapter. You pretty much soloed that that entire boss. That's a really good level up too. That's a really good level up. That was so good, Boyd. Master Seal, cool. Black Knight. Okay. What's his range? Is it six? Six normally. Um, so my question is, like, if we're in range, he'll probably he'll probably move the full the full um the full six. Um, so I'm gonna see what can I do here. I'm going to I'm gonna um heal Boyd up. Pretty much anyone who's touched the Black Knight is dead. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna start the running game. Hopefully the Black Knight chases us. If he comes up here, I have to restart the chapter again. I've been filming for almost three hours, which this is really fun. I gotta say this chapter is so much fun. It's it's hard. But it's fun because I just feel like I'm constantly panicking and it feels so good It feels so good to like play this game. Oh my gosh, like just I feel like this might be like so far Maybe it just is so far it, it all could just because I've been a fire and uh, just drought or drop however it's trans I've been lacking fire content recently, but like It feels so good to Okay Did he move? He moved two He moved two. Oh no, he moved three he moved three. Okay, it looks like he's actually, he moved down and not out. So it looks like he's trying to chase us, which is good. So that means Mordecai, um, I thought I probably said Mordecai to Tot. No one, no one over here is really posed a threat. They're all like level one, except for him. He's got an iron bow and I guess him too. Um, so it's probably just gonna be the three people with the most movement again. Um, we gotta be careful of Jill. We do have to be careful of Jill. We have to watch out for her. I think it's if we step into her range, she'll chase us. If we don't, we're fine. So what we have to do is just keep running away from the Black Knight. That's that's our mission right now. Run away from the Black Knight. Thank goodness he's not moving his full six. Thank goodness he's only moving three. If he moved his full six, this chapter's over. That chapter was over. It was over. 
but we actually stand a chance now since he's not using his full power. He's just going for a leisurely walk. Just a leisurely walk, and I'm really glad about that. I was so... He actually comes out... Like, I've seen the meme. There's, like, this meme about the Black Knight coming out of a house. Because he's so freaking big, so you just see him come out of, like, this random house. It's just... It's, like, a stupid meme. Um... But, like, I'm surprised that K that was in this chapter. I didn't know it was just in this chapter, because, I don't know, I wasn't expecting the Black Knight to show up on chapter freaking 10. I mean, I guess he showed up on, like, chapter 7, but whatever. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, he's sticking down. He's, he's gonna chase us. He's gonna chase us. I can tell by the way he's moving. Perfect, Mordecai. That's what we need right now. Right about now. Watch out for Jill, though. Watch out for Jill and her lackeys. Gosh, there's so many things to watch out for in this chapter, and it's so crazy. This chapter just takes you for a freaking ride. It's a roller coaster of emotions, and I love that. Like, this is what Fire Emblem's all about. All these different things coming together. It's crazy, dude. It's just absolutely insane. This chapter is like a god tier. It's like a god tier chapter. Oh, shoot. Hold up. Where's the Black Knight going? Where's the Black Knight going? Okay, he's still going down. He's still going down. I thought he was about to start coming back. If he came back, that would ruin my plans. But I think I'm actually going to keep... I'm going to keep Soren. Like, right? Kind of like around here. Because I want him to keep coming down and not come back. Because if he comes back, then we'll be in a bad position. But if I can just bring Mordecai up here. Um, what's his face? Um, we'll actually still... Because I need, I need the loop to happen. The loop has to happen. Because I need to come back around and go and kill the knight. So I can avoid the black knight. Um, but if I had to pass through the black knight... I can't pass through the black knight. I, 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 I die. I pass through the black knight and I'm dead. But if I can come around, make the loop kill this guy make ike leave we got it and that's my that's the plan that is the plan we just have to make sure the last thing we really have to watch out for is just the black knight's range and jill that's really that's really it everything else i think we can handle oscar's even killing this guy that's even better that's really good actually all right enemy phase how are we doing how are we doing ah! no 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 okay now we can still do this we can still do this we just have to make him... We have to force him to come a certain direction. Ah, uh, oh, that's right. I can't... I made a mistake. Okay. Well, now I can't do anything. Um, Because he'll, he'll he'll come back. He'll come back. All right. Black Knight, hold on. Wait, I need to come back. Does he chase Ike or something? Is he after Ike? Hold on. Let me see. Um, uh, This is going to be really rough. This is going to be really rough. I have, I have to keep the Black Knight coming. Come on. Maybe he comes at the person who's closest to him. So he's right there. So if I bring, like, Soren right here, he's probably closer to Soren than he is. Oh, actually, he's closer to Tanya. If I put Tanya all the way back here, though, he's even farther away from her. He came out, he came out of this building right here, dude. Okay. Um, come on. Come on, Blanche Knight. I need to just manipulate your direction of where you're going so that I can recruit that guy, bring him to our side, and then just do what needs to be done. Come on. All right. Um, can I wait? I think we're good. Wait. Come on, come back, Black Knight. Come back. Okay, you're fine. I'll take care of you. Um, I'll, need, I'll probably need to bring Titania back up here, which is fine. But I just need to recruit the guy. Once the guy's recruited, it, I, it's all, this whole chapter is about once this is done. I just have to take it one step at a time. That's all it is. Just a one step at a time chapter. <sighs> this is so intense. Come on. Here we go. I'm so glad he doesn't attack. In some Fire Emblem games, they would just attack you. They would just outright attack you. He's coming back. Perfect. Perfect, that's what we need. That's what we wanted. Okay, watch out for Jill and the Black Knight again. Oh, actually, you know what we can do? We can just have Mordecai come down here. Um, kind of stupid, I'll have him take these guys out, but I just want it to happen, because I want them gone. Um, and I can have him, z -Heart, come in here, and uh, what's that? Thieves are taking advantage of the commotion to sack our little town? We must close the front gate. Thanks for your help. Oh, I almost forgot. Please, take this as a token of thanks. Go on, take it. What's this? Killer Lance. Okay, we now have... Every reward in this chapter, all all the only thing we have to do left now is get the heck out. We just need to leave. We just need to leave, and then we'll be free. And we'll be free from the Black Knight and his annoying and just an annoying Jill who just camps on the side of the map, so you can't. You have to like avoid her. Okay, I gotta wait here. I need to draw the freaking Black Knight down. That's all I need to do left. It's just. It's just a black knight. It's just a black knight now, dude. Uh, it's so sad watching Mordecai murder level ones when it totally should be like Rolf who's level five. But this chapter, you know what? With all the stuff going on in it, I don't think the black knight's gonna appear in every chapter, right? It's not like there's gonna be some unbeatable enemy on every chapter. So this is the chapter that we just kind of have to, you know, play our own hand. We gotta just play what the game has given us. 
and we just gotta go for it. Black Knight is going down. Perfect. Okay, what I've been doing is moving him by squares of three so that he moves the exact same amount as a Black Knight. So I'll move you, like, perfect. It looks like he goes after the, the, the AI seems to be that he goes after the nearest person. So Soren, uh, you're a brave soul for doing this, my man. Um, but now we gotta make sure, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We can't get within 13 squares or else he'll go to the next person. Okay, so I counted out 13 squares. We can go right to the edge of this bridge and then he won't come after because the edge of the bridge is 14 squares. And he's 13 squares away from Soren, so he's gonna he's gonna go after Soren, um, still. But I can't go past the bridge, so I just have to keep this up. Soren's gonna be the bait, and the rest of my army is gonna go out, come up here, and take out the knight. Wow! <sighs> my goodness, dude! My freaking goodness! Oh, okay, so he's coming back. Why? Why would you do that? Okay, I'm actually gonna pull something super risky. Soren, you're gonna go right there. Okay, he wants to. Why did he come near us? I count out the squares. Is he just following where the? He's just camping. He's camping me away from the freaking thing. I don't know how to get them away. <laughs> I don't know what to do, dude. I don't know what to do. I can't escape. He's camping the freaking exit. I gotta somehow bait him somewhere. I don't know how. I thought I figured it out, but I guess I didn't. Okay, he's coming back. He's coming back. He does go after the nearest person. I think I just might have miscounted. I really don't know. Look at how close he is. Soren, he's in range of Soren. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, what? Oh, his sword has two range. I didn't notice that. Okay, Soren's in range. He'll die if I stay there. So let's do move three. That's right, the rule of three. Rule of three. Oh, Soren. Soren, my man. You are the bravest man of all. I'm gonna pull a risky move here. I'm not gonna move any of my other units yet. Okay, Black Knight, getting closer. I have to wheel, I have to make him closer. I have to make him come closer. I got to guarantee everyone's safety. Soren, this is your job. You have to guarantee everyone's safety. I have to get him in here. Once he's in here, I can definitely come around and make it up there. I have to, I can kill this guy with, okay, he's, he's not, if he's not stationary, he's probably gonna be stationary, but he won't one-shot anyone, I don't think. Let's, let's check his strength. Um, 17, yeah, he can't one-shot anybody who's at full health. Like, Miss is our weakest unit, and she has 17 health and, like, 3 defense, which she'll, she'll take, uh, friggin' 14 from that. So she can't die to anything. Um, but he, we can pretty much kill him with Ilyana and Titania. We just have to lure the Black Knight even more. <laughs> Dude. Dude, he's so close. I don't like this. Two more. Two more turns of waiting. I can do. I can move like a little bit. Move like maybe on the bridge, but not that much. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'll put like Mordecai up here because I think he's gonna. He's gonna turn back into uh, Lagoos here soon, um, which is good. But um, I'll put Boyd up here too. We need Ilyana. She needs to be as close as possible because she's our mage. And Soren is busy. <laughs> doing what he does best <laughs> um gosh this is just such a freaky chapter dude this is so this is so, such a corny chapter come on there we go he's in there he's in there okay this is it one more turn one more turn and i think we got him one more turn soren one now we're gonna be stuck in between a rock and a hard place here soon soren let's see one two three rule of thirds is working again okay we don't want to move too much though we'll move like we'll move like the rule of three, right? I'll do rule of two just in case. I just don't want him to come back up. We can get Ilion up here, and then once he's in there, we're bolting it. We are bolting it. Okay, Black Knight, still going after Soren? He is. Gosh, Soren, you are just the bravest man ever. Okay, now that the Black Knight is right in here, Soren, you are gonna come right. One, two, three, four. It sucks that I have to go four this time. Okay, hopefully that doesn't break our curse. He's still closest to Soren, though. I think I'm gonna wait. Actually, one more turn. I'll go like three. I'll do I'll do rule of four. How about that? I'll do four. But I just need to get to the freaking knight over there. I need I need that to happen more than anything else in this game. Mordecai has turned into his beast form. This is the turn. Black Knight is nowhere near. I'm going. I'm going for it. It's now or freaking nothing. It is nerf or nothing. I am going straight for the knight. We gotta escape. I don't know if we just had to escape with Ike or all units, but I don't care. It's Tanya, you're healthy enough, right? Let's hear your HP, 25. Let's heal you up just in case. 
That's why we have mist right here. Um, there's no other units besides the um, knight who can actually even attack us. So it's all Titania. I'm going to send her up there. We're going to see if he's stationary or not. And then from there, I think we got it. I think we got it. Oh, it's been a long time coming. It has. It really has. Boyd, can you um, just do leave it on one so I can have like Rolf take the kill or something? That's perfect. Boyd, you are definitely the MVP of the chapter, but Soren is definitely the secondary MVP for luring the Black Knight all the way around. Turn 25, dude. My gosh. Turn freaking 25. Can't believe it. Cool. That's enough for Rolf to get the kill. I had Oscar use a Steel Lance. There we go. Rolf gets this good kill. Does he get another level up to this? I don't remember. I forget where exactly his EXP meter is at. Um, do you, Rolf? That'd be kind of cool if you did. Okay, he's nowhere near it. Never mind. All right, any phase? Black Knight is still coming out for Soren. That's perfect. And the guy appears to be stationary, which is awesome. So I'm going to surround him. Here we go. Um, oh, that just one-shots him. I don't want to one-shot him, though. Um, I want to actually, like, get some EXP now that we have nothing else to worry about. Um, yeah. Six might. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And get rid of my freaking steel ants. Just about another one, because I don't really like... I just want to get rid of it uh, more than anything else. Is he going to do some good damage? He's dodging, too. And he's critting, too. Very nice, Oscar. Okay, he's going to go after... He's going to heal. He's going to go after who, though? That's the question. He has a javelin that can go after... Okay, Oscar. That makes sense. Is Oscar using... Okay, he's using his Iron Lance now. He won't be doing any damage with the Iron Lance. That's fine. Um, but I can bring in all the rest of my units. I can bring in Boyd, Ilyana, and everyone else to just take this guy out. And then finally escape this chapter. Black Knight's still coming. That's exactly what my plan was. I wanted to make him come the complete opposite direction. And it appears to be working. Can I leave I can't hit through this? Okay, that's fine. I'll hit him right through this. Here we go. Eight times two. Hand axes are almost already gone. So I'm just going to use it up anyway. Um, actually, you're going to be ending up at nine damage, right? I wonder if I can get Nephany to kill you. Because Nephany is kind of low. Um, I know. Maybe Rolf too, could too. Well, Rolf's strength isn't as high as Nephany's, I don't think. Actually, we can do a comparison right now. We have... Rolf with seven, Nephany with eight. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, how much damage? Zero times two. How much damage with you, Nephany? Can you do one? You do zero times two. Never mind, it's Ilyana's. <laughs> as long as she lives. Um, fire? That's perfect. You're dead. The chapter is ours. All I need to do is now escape. Thank you, Ilyana. Or Ilyana. Thank you, Soren. Thank you, Boyd. Thank you, Mordecai and Titania, because this chapter was all thanks to you. Oscar, too. Can't forget about Oscar. Here we go. Arrive. It, it, can, am I good? I've got all the... Hold on, let me double check. Village number one, done. Village number two, done. Village number three, done. Black Knight avoided. Jill's alive. Every one of my units are alive. They're all at full HP. I can not do any, like, last-minute heals, right? Nobody? Except for, like, Boyd? Oh, boy, Oscar. I can, I, can get a lot, a lot, I can get a last heal on Oscar with Mist. And there we go. We have done it. We did this chapter. I am a little, little, little more than exhausted, but here, let me check something real quick. I can arrive with Tanya, or is it, is it just with one person or with everybody? Okay, it's just clear map. Oh, wait, let me check. I do it with Titania. Do I arrive? Okay, enter clear map. It, it, it doesn't matter who it was. It has to be one unit. I'll do it with Ike, though. Clear map. Oh, we did it. We got out of there. And the Blanche Knight's like, da, da. the mercenaries boarded the ship safely. Now, how to proceed? Uh, uh oh. Ranulf? You're not peeing that ship. I won't allow. You're going up against the Black Knight? One of Gallia's beast warriors. I've met you before. Yes, at the castle near the Sea of Trees. From where I'm standing, we've actually met twice. Oh? I saw you that night, standing in the light of the full moon. The night you murdered Sir Gre- You were there too? With King- Uh, what? Kanagus? Kanagus? Haha, so you were the one traveling with the Beast King, eh? Interesting. By measuring his aid strength, I will naturally learn more of the king's true power. Hate to tell you this, but my king is uh, not to be measured against the likes of me. He is far beyond that. All the better. Now then, let us begin. Ranulf, you're actually soloing him? Oh, we're actually getting to see it too? It didn't just cut away? Never mind. Oh, no, oh, whoa, 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 Ranulf, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, 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 that did nothing. 
Black Knight. Oh, uh, he crit him. Randolph is going. He's still going. I did nothing. Did he dodge? I can't tell. Randolph, get out of there. No. Ugh, why? Why do my attacks do nothing? I don't know. Maybe because he has 35 defense. You fight impressively. However, you are no match for me. Uh, what the? Who healed him? Who healed Randolph? Um, huh? Hmm? What? It's that guy! Sephiroth! <laughs> Sephiroth! <laughs> Rise, leave this to me. You, you were one of the prisoners! This knight will not raise his hand to me, correct? What? Go now, quickly. If you insist, I'll give you proper thanks when we meet next. Okay. Well, Randolph got out of there. Jeez, he's escaped death twice now. Huh. Commander Har, let us pursue the enemy ship. They're, uh, they're friends of the subhumans. We cannot allow them to escape. Oh, that was a good nap. Well, looks like the fighting's over. Form up. It's time to withdraw. Commander! Listen to me, Jill. We're scheduled to return home tomorrow. If you were injured in a place like this, your Lord Father would not be pleased. It's because, my father, that I must not return home empty-handed. I must have something to show him. Please. <sighs> Simmer down, girl. The Black Knight has ordered us to withdraw. Would you ignore his word? Jeez, Linhart would get along with this guy. That would you uh, would be suicide. Correct. So, let's move out. Blast. Okay, well, Jill's still alive. Blanche Knight. What? Whoops? Norris? M my Lord Black Knight, the a ship is departing. If we are ready our own ship and set sail without delay, we can overtake it immediately. Hmm. Listen to me, Day and General. You will withdraw from this place. I will not allow you to pursue that ship. Who are you supposed to be, fool? You have no idea who you're speaking to, do you? Gather your men. Withdraw. Yet we... I will not repeat myself. Do it now. Y yes, at once! Okay, what? Sephir... Bootleg Sephiroth, Sephiran. What do you have over the Black Knight? Uh, are you sure that's true? Yes, you can ask those two for more details. Um, the two of us. We're here uh, representing the towns. Oh, that's the freaking guy who beat up freaking Randolph. Uh, you say that a green-haired lass boarded that ship? Oh, Alincia. Yes, she had a very noble bearing about her, and she was beautiful. Her name was Ellie? Ellen? They called her something like that. It's true. Princess Alincia. Ha <laughs> ha, my luck has changed. All of us, all the townsfolk, are ready to cooperate in any way we can. If you would keep that in mind, um... Man? He's, he's, he's turning his back on Crimea. What the heck, dude? He's actually siding with da Whatever. Believe me, I understand your loyalty. Well then, you there, come here. Yes, sir, right here. Get these two worms out of here. Find the hardest physical labor in this town and get these two fools started. Work them from dusk till dawn without stopping. Work them till they can no longer move. You got that? Yes, sir. Understood, sir. But that, that's just slavery. B but that's... Why? Why would you... Stop your whining. How else am I going to reward worms vile enough to sell their own princess to the enemy? Enjoy your payment, you greedy dastards. <laughs> Our own princess? That's not... It can't be. It can't. Well, they didn't know that. No. No! I mean, they didn't know. I mean, they suck because they're a bunch of racists, but still. I mean, I guess I can't blame them because that's just how they were raised, but like, still, it's not right. My Lord Ike, how wonderful. I didn't think you were going to make it. Me? Freaking neither, Alincia. I mean, I'm sorry to have worried you. Oh no, I'm just happy to see you well. So very happy. Well, geez, yeah, we got a little happy ending. We're on the boat. Can't wait for boat chapter. Randolph? <sighs> Phew. I doubt the enemy will pursue me this far. A warrior such as you, Wu, did, did a Bayork give you that bruise? Oh, this is, um, freaking King Kenegis's shadow, that's right. Master Ge- uh, Gifka? Mr. Gifka? Master Gifka! Ow! The king told me to come and check on you. Don't move. <laughs> You're plenty banged up, but nothing appears to be broken. There's one among the Dayan army whose power is overwhelming. To move with such speed with all that armor. I tell you, it's not right! So I guess he was dodging. Or I guess just doing nothing. And now, the king's folk are uh, forced to use you, his shadow warrior, to check up on me. Our ministers are as obstinate as ever. No matter what happens, they will not improve of an alliance with the Bayork. 
Nothing can be done about that. Every one of the older or every one of the older retainers has memories of Lagu's subordination. Even the king. If Princess Silencia were not King Ra uh, Ramon's orphan, I doubt he would be willing to aid her. Perhaps you're right. At any rate, the princess and the others are now safely at sea. And the watchdog? No signs of carelessness, I presume. The watchdog? Who? Of course not. Even the elders will bend their uh, their ears to to hear what the one says. That one is special, after all. Uh, what? Okay. Oh, yes, that one was special. And how do you see this? Princess Alincia, uh, Princess Alincia's drive for the reconstruction of Crimea. Does she have a chance? Eh, who can say? Uh, which, uh, wh which way the wheel turns depends on Ike and his mercenaries. Success and failure are but a hair removed. So, this company, which has done nothing but flee, controls the fate of the kingdom? That's a dangerous gamble, isn't it? Tell me about it. We've been running away this whole time. <laughs> all gambits are uh, all gambles are dangerous, Master Gifka. But no mistake about it. Dane's next target is Gallia. We must go home and prepare. Okay, so they're going after the poor Lagoos. Hopefully, King Kenegus can. Uh Ashnard and the Black Knight, dude. These are literally like the two final bosses right here. Um, Princess Crimea. Did she board the ship to Benyon with the remainder of Gawain's mercenaries? Gawain's? Uh, are you talking about Grail? Yes. The hindrance that was Gawain is dead. The location of the medallion will soon be no- Mist's medallion? Um, has our worm worked, its, uh, worked itself into the group? It appears that our worm has been accepted as a trusted member of the company. A spy? Who? Wait. Was that the person that Randolph was referring to? I don't know. <laughs> All is going as planned. Now we let them swim as they please. There is one thing. I met someone unexpected at the harbor. Who? The Prime Minister of the Benyon Empire. Oh, the Prime Mi- the Okay. What? Is that true? If he is nosing about, we must not make any mistakes. Did he give any indication he had caught onto our plans? That, I do not know. Ooh, Black Knight is unsure. He did tell me to deliver a message to you. Overreaching ambition invites disaster. <laughs> nonsense. Our only concern is the Princess of Crimea and the Medallion. We must wait and watch until such time as we can strike. In the in an interim, I want you to take charge of the invasion of Gallia. Be smart. We must not allow Gallia to bring their full might to bear. Understood? As you will. Okay, so Black Knight's invading Gallia. Poor King uh, Kenegus is going to have a rough time then. Oh boy. Speaking of rough times, that was a rough time for me. It's been 3 hours and 15 minutes on that chapter. Okay, here we go. Uh, having narrowly escaped Dan's grasp, the Grail Mercs are pleased to feel the ocean beneath their feet as they set sail. Hooray, boat chapters! According to Captain Nasir, the voyage to Benyon will roughly take two months. Okay, um, oh, we gotta go all the way around. Dang, dude! No interruptions? No boat chapter? No boat chapter? Blessed with temperate, uh, temperate weather, the ship's journey southward is smooth and steady. As it passes the midpoint of the trip, the ship sets a uh, course along the coastline and begins to head east. Um, oh, okay, we actually, have, we actually haven't um, stopped yet. Okay, we're stopping here. There's gonna be a battle, okay. These seas belong to the... Theonysus and the Kilvas, the kingdoms of the bird tribe. Oh, the bird tribes. Um, the, the bird lagoons. Okay. Ah, oh, I see. Um, okay then. Oh, the hawks. I know these guys from uh, Femme Heroes. Uh, both nations prey on human vessels for supplies and wealth. Uh-oh. And their flying corsairs are feet across the seas. Boat chapter, boat chapter, here it comes. Battle of Boat Chapter. Additionally, the southern portion of the continent contains the realm of the Dragon Tribe, the monarchy of Gold Goldoa? Goldoa? Dang. So is this... Oh. Okay, so this is... This is... Oh, that's all the kingdoms right there. Dang. Oh. Fafnir, boys. Uh, this country has remained isolated since its founding centuries past, preserving its closed culture behind a veil of mystery. I see. It is these Lagoos controlled waters that Ike and company must now cross. Oh my gosh. This sounds awful. This sounds actually awful. Birds, flying units. Oh boy, here we go. Chapter 12, A Strange Land. Alright, tell me what it's all about. Ike? 
Um, Ike? <laughs> What's bothering you? You've been moping around ever since we came aboard. I'm just a little seasick. Seasick? You're such a bad liar. You never even get regular sick. You're not the type to get seasick. Really, it's nothing. Come on, talk to me. You've been doing so much lately. I just want to help to... Uh, I just wanted the chance to uh, give you help for a change. Well, all right. I'll tell you what's been bothering me. It's that incident back in Toha. Go on. When everyone discovered Ranoff was a Laguz, all those people, they changed. Just like that. Up until that instant, they seemed like such kind and decent people. I just... I just had no idea Bayork prejudice against the Laguz was so strong. Why do they hate them so much? How are we so different, Ranolf and I? I have to say, at first, I was scared too. When I saw how they could change. They can do things that we... I mean, we Bayork can't do. They're not like us. Miss, you can't honestly feel... It's different now. Everyone's so very nice. But you know, that's because of all the time we've spent together. I've seen how they are. I've gotten to know them. That's why I've changed. I'm not scared or nervous around them. But other people don't get that chance. I think that's why they're frightened. Maybe you're right. Maybe people like me are the odd ones. The people who accept others as they are. I wish more people were like that. I mean, no one really wants to fight, do they? Doesn't everyone want peace? I mean, Ashnard, Black Knight. <laughs> I guess it's just hard to pull uh, to put all those fears behind us. You're right. It is very hard. Whomst? Uh, oh, Nasir. What's the big idea eavesdropping on us like that? Uh, how do you find sailing? Have you gotten sick at all? Yes, I'm Ike. <laughs> We're fine. But uh, answer a question for me, would you? Why are you here? Why do you associate with the Lagoos? Why? Besides the obvious financial benefits, I suppose I do so. Uh, I do so because I am one. What? You're, no, you're not a Lagoos. I don't see any tail or anything. Uh, because I've chosen to live among Bayork, I've taken certain steps to make sure I'm not recognized. Yeah, I felt. I felt like he was a Lagoos. I saw his ears and I was like, they're kind of pointy. They make they made me feel like he was a Lagoos, but I couldn't really tell. Um, not saying that I knew it was him, but like I just had like a sneaking suspicion, I guess. I've had to change my attire, my feeding habits. I've done many things. Uh, why would you do that? Uh, Lagoos cannot survive in isolation, nor can Bayork. If both races are to thrive, they must learn to coexist. I have spent many years searching for a way to make this happen. You think that Lagoos and Bayork can live together? After everything you must have seen, I'm impressed. Ike, you will never truly understand a matter unless you look at it from each party's perspective. As you say, the Lagoos are indeed now uh, persecuted by the Bayork, but long ago, these roles were reversed. Hmm. Whatever happened in the past does not justify what we do to the Lagoos now. That is the thinking of an honest man. Keep things simple and pure. I like that. Still, the strength of your conviction comes from your youth and your innocence. Trust me, it will be tested. When your journey is over, how will you be changed? I pray your conviction is not lost to despair. Talking to you is hard work. <laughs> Someday, you'll understand. For now, my role is to simply deliver you safely to Benyon. Ran uh, Ranulf has paid me quite handsomely with the money from the King of Gallia himself, and I will not let him down. We're out of our element here at sea, so you're all that we have to depend on. Thank you for your help. I will do what I am able. Okay. So far, uh, it's a little bit interesting. Uh, Ike, here's a summary of our last battle. Okay, MVP Morgan. No, it was Boyd, dude. It was Boyd. 100,000% Boyd. Uh, there were no casualties, and no one suffered permanent injury. We fought excellently. Uh, that's all I have to report, if you'll excuse me. Thanks, Soren. Even though you were wrong about Mordecai. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I am a little exhausted. My voice is actually kind of going away, if you can tell. Um, I don't even know why, because I record for like six hours a day, and yet three hours and 20 minutes, maybe because I haven't had any water. I'm a little bit dehydrated. So thank you so much for watching, and I will wa um, I'm gonna watch you. Yeah, I'm going to watch you on the next episode. Now, I'll see you on the next episode, because we're going to continue with this um, playthrough. I don't know if I'll do daily uploads with this one, because... <laughs> it depends on how hard this game is going to get, but you know what? I'll do my best. We might have one like every other day. We'll have to see, but it's going to at least be consistent. How about that? We'll have like episodes coming out consistently, and we're going to keep going. And unless there's like some huge game that drops, I'm not going to stop. Don't worry. We're, 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 kinda, we're going to keep pushing on with this time. So thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Hope you're glad that Path of Rains is back, because I know I am. I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye-bye.